Hello everyone and welcome to a springy morning of gaming. How is everyone today? Hope everyone is doing good. Everyone is doing good. Today is our first like properly scheduled stream where we are running at the, uh, what is going to be your regular stream schedule of Tuesdays and Thursdays from what time EST is it right now? Um, it's 10 a.m. for me, so that's gonna mean 8 a.m. EST. And if you're on the Pacific time, you probably should go to bed. Like, I'm sorry, PST people, but I can. <laughs> you people are. You go to bed. It's like, what? 5 a.m. in the morning? What's, what time is. Uh, 5 a.m. in the morning? I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I have uh, internalized time zones in my brain and everything, but yeah. Uh, can cannot win them all, so yeah. Uh, if you're on PST, please go to bed. <laughs> it's late, or maybe it's super early. I know some people in the US. At least they wake up like extremely early in the morning. Like I wake early. I wake between seven and eight a.m. and that is considered uh, kind of early over here. Well, depending on your job, right? I I know there are people that will wake up at 6 and stuff, but I've heard that it's a bit more regular in other countries to wake up between 5 and 6 uh, in general, and it's like, okay, that's kind of too early. When do you go to bed? And then I realized that in other countries it's also very regular to go to bed between like 10 p.m. or something like that, and I'm like, going to bed before midnight? Are you crazy? Uh, which I, I, I go to bed like midnight on the dot. You know, uh, usually I try to go earlier, but sometimes I cannot do it. Uh, ideally, I try to be in bed at 11.30 p.m. or something like that. You, you never know, right? A lot better than when I used to go to bed like at 4 a.m. in the morning <laughs> and the, the birds were chirping and I was like, all right, sunrise, that means I should go to bed. And no, that means that you should have gone to bed like hours ago, which is like a problem. <laughs> it's a problem. You are not like... <clears throat> I told that to a doctor at, at some point, and they were like, Yeah, no, have you considered quitting your job? Like, my, 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 my part time job outside my main job that is the soda fountain. Yeah, say that. that but yeah, they were like, Yeah, have you considered quitting? So you can sleep more. And, and I'm like, it, it cannot be that bad, isn't it? No, 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 it is that bad, dude. It is that bad. D -d 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 don't go to bed that late. Come on. And I was telling them, like, I was... I go to bed, like, at between 1 a.m. and 2 a.m., you know? You know? And, and they were like, oh, that's awful. That's awful. If I told them the truth, I was going to bed between 4 and 5. They will be like, oh my god, I'm gonna... Uh, no. No, we are gonna put you in one of those rooms that have pillows on the walls and you're gonna have a wonderful time there until you get your shit in order. Uh, but that, that never happened. I, 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 I fixed my sleep schedule by myself. Moompa keeps looking at, uh, on my side and I don't know why. What's up, Moompa? What's up, Moompa? I'm distracting Moompa. <laughs> I'm distracting Moompa. I mean, it's like I keep seeing these glances, you know? It's like... And I'm like, why, why is Moompa looking at me so much? Moompa is getting distracted. Yeah, Moompa is doing some work on, on, on my right. Which would be stage left. Because I am an actress. I know the power of theater. In the palm of my hand. Hi peeps, thank you for the headpad. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. But yeah, today we are going to be doing some random gaming. I mean, I have no plans and this is uh, this is this is going to be part of like my regular streaming mornings and stuff is I I don't do schedules anymore. I have decided I'm not going to do a schedule. I don't need a schedule. Uh, 
schedules are nice for having a nice graphic that you can post on Twitter and then everybody ignores, but uh, who, ca who cares about schedules? Let's be honest. Nobody cares about schedules. There are probably like three people in the audience saying, I care very strongly about schedules. And I'm going to cancel you on Mastodon for it. And I'm going to be saying like, nobody uses Mastodon. No, who cares? <laughs> I don't know why fighting with fictional people, but I do that a lot. <laughs> I'm a very, I'm a very troublesome person, so I, I have made up fights in my head all the time. <laughs> but yeah, I was like, ah, I'm not doing schedules anymore. I, I remember when I used to do schedules, and I was like, uh, I, I think is if I if I define that I want to do something, the closest. I, I, the deadline comes for me to have to do it. I'm like, ah, but I don't want to do it anymore. So I have this stuff that it's like, I want to do this. It's a great idea to do this, to play this game or do whatever. And then I wake up that day and I'm like, like I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. But I told everyone I was going to do this. And then I'm like, ah, what do I do? What do I do? So that's... I, I'm pretty sure, actually, uh, that's a um, soda in the morning confession. I am. This, this was like Nox in the past with all the, all the mental health power in the world that they have right now, but I'm pretty sure I have canceled streams because I reached like an anxiety uh, deadlock with having said, like, I want to do this, but I don't want to do this. And then it's like, I feel bad in that completely demotivated because I couldn't do what I wanted to do or what I had planned and like reached like a brain deadlock and I was like you know what I'm not streaming I'm not streaming um so I found out that yeah schedules don't work for me I don't like them I don't feel like they are necessary I don't feel like they add too much unless of course right if you're doing something that's not just playing a random game. I, I I I should add an asterisk here. I think that schedules that say what uh, what you're playing are like kind of pointless. It's like you're gonna be playing a game. People don't care exactly the game that you're playing. I mean, some people might do. Might be like, oh right, that's a great game. But schedules are more useful if you're having like a very big event, like a collab, a karaoke stream, or something non-standard. And uh, usually, you're not gonna have one of those each week unless you're a very active people. I don't know. Some very active persons might have like a, a ton of big events every single week. I'm not judging them all out loud. I judge them inside my brain when nobody can hear me. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> and I've been speaking about 10 minutes uh, about how I don't do schedules anymore. I love myself. I, I miss going on tangents. But yeah, it's a cool spring morning. Well, actually, it's super cool. I don't know why it's so cold. Well, I, it's been raining for a couple of days. It was so hot. And then it's rain for a couple of days and it's like I had to put on a coat Le well I'm not wearing a coat I'm wearing a coat on my soul yeah that's the my soul is currently wearing a coat uh, let me see uh, temperature today let let let's check the temperature and it's 18 Celsius and if I do it in freedom units it's 64 freedom units so it's kind of very very and it's windy so it's gonna be even it's gonna feel even colder outside but luckily i have no plans of going outside Technic uh, today usually is a gym day so i would have gone to the gym and then you will have me like all fit and properly like pump up for the day and that's intentional but i didn't go to the gym today because of a very simple reason and it's that i don't have enough classes <laughs> the way i pay for my gym membership is not like i pay for the month but i pay i, I buy a class package so they give me like 20 something or 30 classes i don't know over a wait i, I can kind of calculate that let's use a calculator i know how to do math but it's like uh, three months uh, yeah i run out of classes uh, it's wait how many weeks in a month four 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 so it's uh four plus two or uh, uh, times two times and that times three wait times three and that's gonna be yeah I get like 24 classes or so every three months. 
So that equals to going to the gym twice per week, but sometimes I don't go on a week and go three times the other time, and it, it, it balances out depending on my availability on the on the months. Um, I run. I, I have a single class actually. I I I have a single class, and we are gonna be topping up the next uh, week because. That's when Moon Pass classes also run out. Uh, we don't always go the very same day because our schedules are kind of different. Moon Pass goes to the gym as well. So um, that, that that's why it's going to be... Today cannot be a gym day. I'm going to go tomorrow. So I wanted my gym class to be uh, right in the middle of the week. That way I have like uh, a balanced week. Uh, exercise wise so but usually I will be going like uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays at my 8 a.m. so go back home at 9 take a shower and be ready for stream at 10 that's my uh, routine I could have gone for a run but but I'm still protecting my legs I actually like the I've, I've been walking so much and I have a very strong leg day the other time where now I'm kind of okay but for a couple days i could barely walk and it was not pain and everybody was us, uh, telling me like ah, does it hurt uh, are you in pain or something i was like no i'm not in pain my legs are just extremely tired they don't have any energy to move so i did very strong uh, leg exercises and uh, yeah I, I needed to give them time to regenerate that means I probably now I have like a lot more leg strength that I <laughs> than I had the previous week. I can probably kick holes through walls or something like that. I should try that. Probably not on my walls. Can I go to somebody's house and try to kick your walls? For science? Well, they they should be plaster walls, right? Well, everybody can kick through a plaster wall. That's that. That's not difficult. It should be like a very, very soft stone or metal. That's that's that that, that probably will be helpful. <laughs> but yeah, I, I I can walk now. That makes me happy. Being able to walk makes me happy. Oh. But I, I didn't want to risk it going for going in for a run today. And with all the wind at the cold, it will, I, I would probably be like ugh, ugh, risking grabbing a cold or a flu or something. And I don't want to do that. It's Christmas is next weekend. I don't want to do that. Yeah, I'm hyped for Christmas. I still need to finish my Christmas shopping. I'm not hyped for that. But luckily I don't have to buy a, a bunch of gifts. I just need to buy my parents something. I have like half my mom's gift and I need to buy something for my dad. Probably with my dad it's so hard to give him gifts. Like, usually my option is either a bottle of something or chocolate, but I want to do something that's not like alcohol or chocolate. Um... <laughs> uh, because I also think I recently gave them both of those things, so he probably still has some. I mean, and he also buys on his own uh, chocolate and, 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 and bottles of stuff, so it, it, it makes it, like, very difficult. <clears throat> but I'll figure out something. I always do, like, the day before I have to <laughs> go there. Uh, but, oh well. We'll, we'll see what we see when we see it. That's the thing. Happy for the holidays, though. I'm gonna get a couple extra uh, days off. I get, um, on my non-soda part-time job, I get the... Um, I get like 25th of December and the 1st of January as mandatory days off, which means here in Uruguay we have the thing that uh, we have two types of holiday. I think some... I think there is a concept called bank holiday, but I'm not sure. I think it's... No... National... No, bank holiday is like something on the UK, but it doesn't like ma uh, matches the same behavior here. So we have b a bunch of holidays in the country here in Uruguay, but we have like regular holidays there are a ton of those, and of those, usually most uh, they are most uh, for education and like people that go to school won't go on those days. And I, I think some 
some public entities might close on those, uh, but usually private entities will work. Um, even some private schools will still have classes on those holidays. <laughs> they are like soft holidays. They celebrate something, but the country doesn't grind to a halt on those days. Most people will still work and stuff will kind of operate usually like it does every other day. But we have what we call like feriado no laborable, which is non-workable holiday or a mandatory holiday or something like that. And it, it, on those days, by law, technically, people cannot ask you to work. I mean, you are allowed to say no. On the other ones, uh, people can ask you to work. On these ones, it's like... It, I mean, you can work them, but you cannot be forced to work them unless you are in health or an essential kind of a business and then they can tell you, yeah, you'd be, you need to do it, but we are going to be paying you double or stuff like that. And if you have to work them, they have to pay you like double uh, the, the regular rate or something. So... Um, so those are like the, 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 the ones where the country will kind of stop a bit. Uh, you are going to see like uh, a, a huge decrease in public transport. A lot of stores are going to close. And, uh, it don't, banks and everything. Like, of course, no classes and stuff like that. But the, as I mentioned before, it's easier for classes to stop. So that's not uh, such a surprise. But yeah, I... I have only on my non-soda shop, I have the non-workable holidays as holidays. Uh, the other ones, I still have to work them. And there are five in the year, uh, I, I think, five or six. And Christmas and New Year's are, are those, are non-workable. Which, the, only pro the main problem is that because we exist in this random world where uh, the, the, the dates move around the days, right? Uh, it's like this... Why am I becoming so tiny? Why did I... What's happening to me right now? Okay. I, I'm curious about what's happening to me right now. Why am I having a stroke? <gasps> I'm still awake? Uh, 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 there we go. Thank you. <laughs> I think I lost track in there, but I'm sitting in front of the... Uh, I mean, whatever. <laughs> Uh, what I was talking about, oh yeah, uh, I was just like scratching my nose and I broke my whole model. And, and my nose is still itchy, so I don't understand that. <laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> I didn't see that actually scared me a bit. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> That was such, such, such in time with me scratching my nose at, at, that, at that point. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's even trippier now. Yeah, I think it is because I'm longer. Like on my other, on my chibi model, like because she's like a potato. <laughs> she covers more of the stuff, I think. But now it's well, I I'm proper, I have proper proportions, and that makes it trippy to go wilder. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And I forgot completely what I was talking about again. Uh, something about holidays. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What I hate is, like, uh, sometimes... Uh, like, Christmas and New Year's will always happen on the same day because math, I think. And because, uh, But that means that there are chances that either uh, they can... If they fall either on a Saturday or on a Sunday that year, I get screwed. I don't get them free. I mean, it's like, well, it's already on your weekend, so you don't get, uh, you don't get an additional day off or anything like that. You just lose potentials days off on the year. And and I think usually when that happens, there are like three or so that get in synchron in synchrony, and you end up losing like three of your days off, extra days off, holidays off days, and that's. Really annoying. <laughs> that makes me sad. But luckily, they are they, they are gonna be Mondays this time, so it's even better than usual because I get a long weekend. I love long weekends. Yeah, but yeah. That's been me talking about the holiday system on Uruguay for twenty minutes. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, I'm going to be talking about random stuff because uh, for now the plan is I'm going to do some uh, gacha dailies and 
and keep talking about random things and then I don't know. I was thinking maybe we play some Yakuza or something. We can have a Yakuza Friday on a Tuesday. Yeah, that works. That works. Let's switch to the game. It's not gonna change much. There we go. Hey, the game even shows on screen. Let's put some more pumping music. Uh, let's go to OC Remix. Yeah. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Ooh, I like this song. Yeah, I'm not gonna use the game audio. The game audio of a soul lane will burn your <laughs> your, your your eardrums. Okay, wait. I am police game. Uh, okay, let me fight with the game window. Uh, there we go. And then I do this. There we go. Hmm. Mm, I'm gonna jam too. E. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing my daily in a line. We are not doing any event. Well, technically there is an event. Uh, we are doing uh, what's called a pop. They are doing like a popularity contest where you can vote three girls to be uh, to to win a prize for next year, I think. Uh, they gave you like a small story and a portrait for each of the girls that win the popularity contest. Um, but my, 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 my waifu is not going to win because <laughs> my waifu, I, uh, I, I, I fell in gacha love with one of the <laughs> more basic uh, characters in this game, so... Oh, okay, we are not voting today, we... Okay, we, 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 we don't get to do anything. So the qualifiers. Uh, they are Shinano, Egere Musashi. Okay, so these are the t top. And it, it was the first 200 girls were, were gonna qualify. I cannot... Why? No, no, that's impossible. That's impossible. They must be showing every single one. Okay, let's, let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, the cutover point is on um, 240? I, I could swear it was 200. But my girl, Leander, is not here. Leander was like 260 something. Oh, yeah, 267. Such a pity! That's my girl, but she didn't qualify. Mm. My second, my second, my second option that would have been Matsumutsuki. I, I think she was even worse. I don't know if she's here, which is yeah, 257. No, a bit better, a bit better. But weird because she's kind of a meme uh, ship, like using a bunch of emotes on the official Asuma Discord. But she still didn't make it. Uh, so such 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 a pity, such a pity. I'm saying, well, Erebus, Erebus is doing really well. Huh. Fuso. I wonder if Long Island was uh, added here. Vampire? Huh. I'm seeing like a, a, a couple that are kind of popular that I wasn't expecting them to. I mean... Nelson? Well, Nelson makes sense. Akashi? So he's doing strong. Usually there is like a very direct correlation between uh, ships that are good in the game and and popular because a lot of people use them, right? And this is why you see, like, um, you see Shinano, Egin, and Musashi. These are very used, used ships in, in, in a lot of fleets and for a lot of content, so it makes sense. Huh. I wonder Leander where... No, Luffy cannot participate because she already won, so one of my wives already won. A bunch of my wives have won <laughs> the previous popularity content. It's a game where you ship the ship girls. Hi, Nathars. Yeah, it is. Gonna do my dailies and stuff. Uh, just to knock them out of the way. and to, So I don't feel guilty that uh, I'm not doing my dailies when I wake up. <laughs> but uh, this is, uh, we're talking more about random stuff mostly. Hi, hi. I was talking about how I'm looking forward to the holidays. That I destroyed my legs on the gym. But they're better now. I can walk. I can walk. No worry about that. And my uncle is getting a lot better. I think uh, I gave my uncle like a, um, a Spartan workout on an Argentina, you know, by walking everywhere. And at that point, my uncle was like, like 
either I live or die, right? It, it was well. If I don't, if I don't start working properly, I we are not making it. So he he it went into overdrive and yeah, no pain, no gain, or whatever the saying is. Well, yeah. Although I think it's like, yeah, it will hurt the other day. <laughs> it shouldn't hurt while you're working out, but the other day will hurt because that's that's how it works, right? You are, you are um, my creating micro tears in your muscles, so you are kind of breaking your muscles so you can build them again stronger than before. And this is why you cannot exercise every single day. Also, you need to allow your muscles time to heal because that's what actually makes them improve. So, it, and, and that hurts. But eventually it hurts less. I mean, the first, I remember the first months I started the gym, I was like, I think that's gonna be my life now. I, I'm always going to be so, in some level of pain. <laughs> eventually I was like, no, no, you don't are in an entire amount of pain. A bit of discomfort. You also gotta watch for your knees. They're the most useful, most fragile part of the body. Why knees? Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, knees and I think ankles, in particular if you run, because a lot of people say that actually running is really bad for you because you are doing constant impact on the on the ground and you are not running in soft ground. Usually a lot of people run in, uh, for example, I run on, on cement because I run across a promenade. A promenade is... Is it promenade? No, pro I, I always confuse. Promenade. Yeah, a promenade. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay. I, I usually... I, I was thinking in case it was a... Mes <laughs> For some reason I wasn't sure which one was a mezzanine and which, which one was a promenade. It, it French for you. During a trip to a hotel with your parents, you had an indoor gym, you tried the treadmill for about an hour or two, you think, and... Yeah. You felt like, I can't stop walking. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. At some point, your, your legs feel really, really... Loose and easy to move, and then eventually they stop moving, and it's like, oh no, why? But I ask again, why? The thing is, though, I think treadmills and bicycles and stuff like that tend to be easier on your on your joints. If you do the proper running on the beach and stuff like that, that's when it, it can get like uh, tricky. Walking cooldown, absolutely, you need a cooldown. Want to cue that one, please? Yeah, you need to give them. You, you make your legs into a cooldown period, and then you, you need to give them like a couple hours or a couple days. To, to, to. You get a debuff afterwards, right? You get a cooldown, and then a debuff, and then the debuff expires, and then your stats improve. That's that that, that that's how it works. It's it's just a very elaborate uh, 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 upgrade status upgrade system. But hey, it's healthy. It's a very healthy kind of pain, you know? We still have to do it. It's worth it in the end. Because... Earth needs an update. It does. It does. We need, like, a uh, reduce the, 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 the... Increase stamina for everyone. And give us more nap times. <laughs> I want more stamina and naps. Stamina and naps. I want more energy when I want to use it, but I want more time to take like a good sleep. Mm. Yeah. Uh, do I want this one? I well, I can scrap stuff, but I don't care. I will. I will. I will do this. Oh, my research key is full. Okay, I need to. Uh, okay, everything is good there. I'm very oil rich, which is a problem. Uh, how much? cash do I have? I have enough cash. I'm gonna buy food for my girls. Yeah, I'm gonna buy a bit of food. I don't want to go too crazy because we have an event starting. And I needed to start reading all the... I, I stopped reading the events on this game and stuff was happening. And on this event, I was checking the, the prelude for this event and it's like, yeah, after this major event happened on a previous event and I was like wait what did that happen holy cow that's kind of huge lore wise I mean you almost forgot this game showed a lot of boobala boobs comfy room yeah it is a very comfy room is the dorm for the girls you mean yeah I have them on a on a on a theme holiday room yep 
Yep, 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 yep. And the second floor. What do we have in the second floor? I think it's it's a fruit bar, salad, beach thingy. Okay, now let's let, let, let's put something Christmassy here. Um, do I have something Christmassy? I never use the second floor. The second floor is like you put them there via the interface, but you never actually see them. Okay, the second floor is going to be on the outside. Don't worry about it. That's 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 perfectly logical. You'd love to live in that room. It's a very comfy room. Yes, absolutely. I I, I would love to do as well. And let me let me change the floor. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, look at this. Can can they sleep here now? They cannot sleep in the big air. Indoor, outdoor, indoor room. Uh, look, we, we uh, they are girls who are boats. That 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 that's that's not the, 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 the that's not such a huge logic leap at this point. Can they play chess? Yeah, they can play chess with the manju. And of course they have beds. Oh, this is so very comfy. Merry Christmas, see? and and there is a bath here. We we don't we don't know why, but you know how it is. You need a bath in every room. Let's give our our, our cats some food. But yeah, we have a, like a major event starting on Thursday, so I want to make sure they have enough coins to pull because there is going to be another ultra rare ship. I have enough more than enough cubes. That's. Uh, for people who are not familiar with the game, this is an absolute absurd amount of money for pulls. Of, I'm close to the coin cap. You cannot actually keep more than 600k coins on your on yourself. And um, having over 2,000 cubes is considered like an absolute uh, beast of <laughs> uh, of re a resource thing. But yeah, that's how I roll because I like pulling, so I always make sure I have enough to to get all the ships I want. I, I, I used to have a 100% collection on this game. Let me check my collection now. My collection on this game is 99.9% because there is a, dro a ship that drops on, the, on a new world that release and I haven't done the grinding on that world yet. And I have all my girls like uh, on Christmas uh, skins. I, I, I put, well, this one is kind of a party skin. I, I think it's more of a New Year skin more than Christmas. And this one, I don't know. For me, the, the cloak looks Christmassy. And this one is a pirate. <laughs> this, is, this is a weird uncle. Oklahoma is just a weird uncle that shows in Christmas with, the, with her Halloween screen, skin. But yeah, I love it. I, 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 I'm, I like making them theme. Probably need more Christmas skins at some point, but um, most of those I got for free. I only bought like a couple. I bought uh, this one I did buy because she's one of my uh, underappreciated ships that I use a lot. So I like getting her skin. Somebody's definitely insane enough to try and 100% this game. Hell, any gacha game, actually. Well, I was 100% for a while. Well, actually, no, I lie. Uh, the problem is I don't have all the ships in the game because um, the collapse. The collapse uh, are the thing that will always prevent me from... Because I can, I can put here... These are, these are all the ships I don't own. So I there is one ship I don't own that I can get, but the ones from Collabs, that those ones I cannot get anymore because they are not going to be rerunning those Collabs so far, um, which are because they are they need to do some business things to to get them. Uh, a couple were with Hyperdimension Neptunia. This one was, for example, with Hyperdimension Neptunia. There was uh, the Kisuna Eye uh, collapse. And of course, if there is one collab that has like absolutely zero chance of happening ever again, it's gonna be Hololive because Absolute Lane is a China based uh, company and kinda Hololive. Uh, was at war with China at some point and they left that market and there is no chance in hell they are adding a soul lane to uh, a hollow light to a soul lane again so if you have the ships you have them enjoy your rest peeps rest very well have a nice snippy snip 
Good seeing you and yeah, take it easy. Have a wonderful day tomorrow as well. Bye bye. But yeah, the problem with whole life was that after the yeah, the you didn't know that was huge. Um, so what happened with whole life was it started with um, Akai Hato or Hachama, where she was doing. She was doing, uh, yeah, she was doing a thing where she was showing random stuff. She was doing like a just chatting stream or something. And she showed her uh, YouTube viewership statistics or something like that. And on those statistics, they show Taiwan as a, as a country. And China has a very strong... Uh, feeling or well China believes that Taiwan is just one of the regions is part of China and they are in general uh, yeah 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 uh, so Hachama started and then Coco did it too and people don't know if they and and that's the thing that people weren't so sure but the thing is Hachama is more like a um, native uh, Japanese person or something like that. They, she was on a better standing with China, so she was getting a bit of heat, but not a lot. But when Coco did it, who is kind of considered a bit of an outsider, uh, things were out of control, right? Yeah, Hachama was the first that did it. Then Coco did the same, and then there is like this ongoing theory, I mean, there is a lot of conspiration theories and stuff like that, where people are saying like, did Coco do that on purpose, or um, am, I, am I looking for the One Piece? Always, always. Hi, yo. Hi, Fox, hope you're doing well. So. The, the thing is, people don't know if Coco... There was a theory that this was like Coco did it on purpose to piss them off as a way of like... Or some people were saying that Coco knew that she was gonna get a lot more heat than Hachama and probably she was gonna make people forget about Hachama and, and focus on her, so... There was this theory that she might be taking a bullet for her chamas, doing it on purpose so people will focus on her and stop the, 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 the heat that her chama was getting. But in the end, uh, Coco did it and it could have been a coincidence too, where they just, thank you, having some fun. Mm. We're talking about the Hololight uh, China conspiracy, by, uh, conspiracy controversy, by the way. And, and yeah, and Coco ended up taking like uh, most of the brand and she was kind of handling very well, but I know there was a stream, a stream where she broke down crying because it, it's, I, I remember like um, there was this YouTuber that passed away uh, called Total Biscuit, he was awesome. Uh, and he had very insightful ideas and I remember one of the things that he was saying that it's like a lot of people will say grow a thicker skin, you know, when you are receiving abuse online and stuff like, oh yeah, grow a thicker skin. You need a thicker skin when you're online. And, and he was like, but you don't understand that from the perspective of a content creator, you don't, it's not just that, right? It's not... You don't get the same view as a content creator that the one you get as a, a as a regular user of the internet. Because yeah, you might get someone on, on Twitter calling you a, a bad word, or on a forum somebody will might have a small argument against you and tell you something bad. But as a content creator, you run the risk, and this was before the term cancelling was a thing, you know. Um, but you run the risk of getting hundreds of people every single day sending hate your way when you do something because from their perspective they are the ones that are telling you they're telling you like you're a dumbo once but then you have like a thousand people every day telling you you're a dumbo and at, at, at that point it's like geez your brain just at some point cannot handle that much hate um and this is why when people say like grow a thicker skin that, that yeah no i mean yeah try it try it try it my friend get like hundreds of people telling you 
insults and trying to do all bunch of stuff because people won't won't stop at some points, right? There was uh, now uh, now on Twitter recently there was a content creator who left. Uh, The, the space because they, they received so much abuse and I, I didn't look too much into it but uh, I, I was just seeing the reactions I try not to go into too much into into those kind of situations especially because have nothing to do with me and I don't I don't know I don't try to dwell into negativity it felt like something that was just going to make me angry or sad and I was like yeah I don't I don't <laughs> I don't want to look too much into it but apparently from what I'm seeing it was a content creator who had like a 30 second clip where they were saying something and it was not worth it to for them to be abused for what seemed to be like uh, weeks or months on end two friends of you were dealing with hate rates based on the fact that they were transgender yeah that's 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 also uh, like a really really shitty you know um that's uh, specifically on twitch uh, it, it's kind of crappy because you have these people that are looking for the tags honestly um Uh, this is part where I'm not using like any non-binary trans tag on my stream. It's like it's not worth it. Yeah, Twitch shenanigans. It's it's all the all the things you can. They they get really creative nowadays, right? They follow you with names that say like, oh, you will never be a girl, or you are not a real woman, or stuff like that. Um, it's always kind of, <laughs> it's always like um, trans femme target, right? I, I I'm pretty sure that it's also trans mask. Uh, targeted hate rates but yeah one of them had rebranded her channel he, she had to use a second channel jeez yeah that's a lot yeah that, that that's the thing like they drive you out of the space because you could say like ah just just withstand it right just if you if you are tough enough if you handle the hate for long enough they get bored and they will go away and what shows today is that nowadays people won't get bored and people don't just let go Uh, a lot of people will just keep doing it and for a, an absurd amount of time. The second one took a break from Twitch and is the process of moving to a new state. Yeah. That that's that's really sad. That's really sad that they, they were like drawn away from Twitch because some some like stupid people. And also it's like the effort you have to think also, you know what's unfair? It's Obviously, everything here is unfair, right? Everything is unfair, it's shit, it's, everything is crap, but it, it doesn't cost the hater almost anything to do this, right? A lot of this stuff is just automated, like all these bot raids, all these hate raids, they are just like, they set it up at some point and they're pressing a button. It's, you can imagine that it, it is some random piece of shit that wakes up, grabs a cup of coffee, double clicks on something, goes away to live their day, and they just like that, they're ruining someone else's life. Uh, they're making someone really un, uh, unhappy and uh, and make them like feel like shit, and it doesn't cost them anything. It, it's so unfair. Like, <laughs> they, they're not even putting any effort. It's not like, oh, you are a sad piece of shit like that... that that's putting all this effort in being like a hateful they're not putting any effort they're just they're just running a program it's such unfair it's such an unfair thing it's like ugh. such a piece of shit <laughs> I curse more nowadays post rebrand by the way uh, but yeah Uh, and that the same thing was happened with Coco, Kiryu Coco and China, right? It's like a, a lot. Well, not every Chinese person was doing that, but uh, there were a lot of uh, fan bases in China that didn't like um, uh, Coco in particular, and they were using this as a great excuse to throw a ton of hate. Then Hololive Cover, uh, the, the company that owns Hololive, right? Uh, Cover uh, put like. Um, a statement but I think they were kind of weird in that they sent a statement in Japan and they sent a different statement in China so it made it look like they were trying to pander to the Chinese public they were like for everyone else we're gonna say something but for the Chinese people we're gonna say no we are of course uh, we support um, whatever you believe in and they were they, they felt like they were being pandered to which made them feel 
even angrier at Cover, and then Cover like retracted that thing, and then it's like, well, are you retracting it because you don't believe this? I mean, it was like a no-win situation. Uh, with all that happened, um, all this was happening while Hololive had a Chinese branch. There was a Hololive China. I think they had three to four VTubers. And they eventually started, they, they pulled them out. Uh, they, they graduate them, they, they graduate them all. Uh, yeah, they fired them pretty much. I think they were talking about allowing them to become independent, but uh, they, they were like, Yo, you know what? No, uh, we are just uh, going to, 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 cl to close and cancel all of them, like their contracts and stuff. So Hololive China stopped, and you started seeing that thing where uh, Chinese companies were not doing any more business deals with uh, Hololive. Uh, I will jump into. Let me finish this, and I will jump into the, that other thing in a moment. We can look into that. But yeah, what happened? You started seeing some gaming companies, like for example, Muslash. Muslash is another uh, is made by a Chinese company and they specifically ask Hololive to stop playing their games. Now, you want to hear a funny thing about that? Muslash has Hololive songs on it. They have like a, a song by Fubuki and but, but but they ask Hololive talent, yeah, do not play your game more on stream anymore. I know Gura was a big uh, Muslash player and yeah, she wasn't allowed to play the game anymore. So, a bunch of games um, there was this game... It wasn't Genshin, right? There was a game where you say... It was censored saying Coco, and it could have been Genshin. I don't remember. When you couldn't even say Kiryu Coco. Uh, and then there was the soda... Uh, uh, yeah, a soul lane one went... We assume, like, I don't know they publicly said anything about not working with Hololive anymore, but... We there was kind of this thing about uh, China, China companies not wanting to do anything with Cover. And on a recent uh, uh, meeting, a financial meeting that Cover does for their stockholders or, st or stuff like that, they mentioned that them coming back into the 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 Chinese market was like highly unlikely. So, because of that, we are not going to be seeing uh, much of uh, a Soul Lane Hololive collapse anymore, which is a, a shame. On the original Hololive collab, I remember that they, they wanted to add Marine to the, to the roster, but she actually declined because she was, uh, she was uh, her generation had just started and she felt like she getting uh, a, 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 an appearance as a collab on a game after she just started was gonna be like unfair to people who had been on active as a VTuber on, on her company for longer than her and she didn't want to to make it look unfair but yeah I, I, I can imagine like the people from Azul Lane is like yeah she's she's a fucking pirate right we we, we want the pirate girl but yeah <laughs> and we we are uh, we all Azul Lane players we were waiting for a second Hololive collab with more ships and hoping to get marine and stuff like that but that's not ever happening. We are not getting the rerun. We are not getting anything. It's a shame. Politics and stuff and people being shit. But yeah. Um, you were saying... Um, Korean VTuber situation regarding them not getting paid. I don't know. Do you have more info about that? A name or, or a company or something I can I, I can look at? Let's, let's check it. Uh, Korean VTubers not getting paid. Uh... Korean VTubers blocked for streaming. Oh, okay, so what what I what happened? Wait, what happened was I don't know if it's related to that, but Twitch pulled from Korea. Twitch pulls from Korea. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, we can we can check this one. Twitch to shut down in South Korea to high cost. I don't know if it is related to that, folks. Tell me if it is, or if you have something you want me to look into. We can we can check it check that now. And um, I'm I, I'm doing some 
<laughs> Some PvP in the background too. Uh, do I need to pay attention to this? I, I hope I I hope I don't. I, I'm talking about the fight. <laughs> I don't want to lose the fight. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, Twitch uh, say that they were gonna shut down operations in South Korea uh, doing to the high operating costs and network fees. It is my understanding that one of the main problems is that if you stream in South Korea, if you are like a content provider on South Korea, like Netflix, uh, Twitch, YouTube, whatever, you are, you get taxed like, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, sure, send the, uh, send the video. Uh, but. What I what I get the idea is that you get taxed as if you were like a TV network, right? So, oh, I'm, I'm gonna lose. Uh, see if you so it, it doesn't matter if you are a small content platform; they tax you as if you were, if you were like a, a TV channel, and obviously that's a lot of money. And a lot of companies have said like, you know what? I'm not gonna pay that, and it's even more than that. You get paid more. You, you get charged more than what you what, what would be the the regular rate on Korea. I mean, let's see. Check this article. Uh, Twitch has been operating in Korea at a significant cost, a loss, and unfortunately, there is no pathway forward for our business to run more sustainable in that country. Network fees in Korea are still ten times more expensive than most other countries, yeah. Uh, he said, adding that the company spent significant effort working to reduce operating costs to remain in business. South Korea's Ministry of Science and ICT, Information Communication Technology, said in a statement that network usage fees were being reviewed as a comprehensive matter that requires consideration of the sustainable development of the internet network and content industry and user convenience. That's like, we, they want money. I, eh, that's like fluff. The ministry did not comment directly on Twitch's decision to end its operations. The debate over who should foot the bill for increased traffic usage has seen global technology giants clash with local internet providers in South Korea. Earlier this year, Netflix, a South Korean internet service uh, provider, SK Broadband, withdrew lawsuits against each other over network usage fees. In 2022, Twitch limited video resolution in South Korea, a country with a booming esports scene and use of online video games, sitting growing operating costs. Shares of Africa TV, uh, which is like a competitor now for Twitch, a South Korean streaming platform, uh, closed up nearly 30% on Wednesday following the announcement. Uh, okay, sure. Twitch laid more than 400 employees in March and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's that's something big that happened. Let me check the video. Thank you. Every Korean VTuber uh, kick out. How long is the video? Let me check it. Oh, yeah, it, it's... It, yeah, okay. It's 35 minutes. I get it. I will... I will... I will check it after stream, and if anybody is interested here, let me pass, paste it here. It's from False ID, who does a, a bunch of uh, VTuber news. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Korean VTubers are getting kicked out from from Twitch. That's kind of a, a shitty thing. Uh, I saw someone on Twitter, actually, uh, who was saying, like, because... The way they are doing it is kind of broad, so some people, some Korean VTubers that are not in Korea anymore had their account suspended because uh, I think they probably have their affiliate agreement and things like that are still using Korea as their address, so that they're getting like their accounts shut down even when they are not in Korea anymore, and that's kind of a... That's a problem, you know, it's... That needs to be solved. I think they probably can do it, can fix it on their side just by redoing their affiliate agreement. I mean, your affiliate agreement... Affiliate is easy. Affiliate is easy because affiliate on Twitch is an automated system, you know, it's like... A, a game it feels you meet the requirements and then you fill up a couple forms and everything is verified by a robot right there is no human interaction so you, you're just ready to go but i'm gonna guess that korean twitch partners might be having a tougher 
time doing that because of the the, the, the requirements are, 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 are more strict and they do in, uh, have manual intervention so I hope those people can like find a way to keep streaming if they are not in Korea I think you cannot do anything if you are in Korea right there is no VPN that will save you mm, so that's gonna be tough for those people they will have to just switch to a different platform and in doing so they lose like global market right they lose access to the global market because yeah you can stream in uh, that company that, that that platform called africa tv or whatever but how many of us are actually watching that platform here no one and um, you become a, a, a content creator for korea only and that's like very bad <laughs> i mean limiting yourself nowadays to a single market when uh, the world is globalized it's you can do it. Obviously, you can do it. Like there are so many content creators that have limited market uh, markets that you've never heard of, right? It's like I don't know. I can pull the 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 largest Spanish-speaking YouTuber, and I probably didn't haven't heard of them because I don't watch uh, Spanish YouTube. But they're, they're probably making tons of money. Can I win? Can I win? You know what? No, I cannot win. I cannot win. I, I'm pulling out. I'm pulling out. Uh, five, six, seven. I'm gonna do this one. This one looks easier. Oh no! Yeah, there we go. I, if the game starts buffering, it could mean that my internet connection dropped, and I don't want that. How are we on the other level? Let me check my stream manager. Ah, okay, there is gonna be an ad starting in one minute from now, so... Uh, as always, I run ads to remove pre-rolls, I don't do it for the money, I don't give a F about the money, it's gonna be for three minutes and afterwards nobody will see an ad for an hour. Which I think it's the most uh, fair thing to do or the most uh, user-friendly thing to do, I don't know anymore. <laughs> I'm trying that. I'm trying that and we'll see what happens. Ooh. Oh, it's 11. It's 11 a.m. Uh, uh, over here. So, yeah. Uh, 30 seconds from now, I will be starting. I'm gonna be stretching. Feel free, everybody, to stretch your legs. Grab something to drink. Oh. And, I oh, know. Uh, blink a lot of times to moisten your eyeballs. <laughs> You know, whatever. I, I will be here in a moment, right? So I will leave this music here and let's go to our VRB screen. Be back in a moment. I'm gonna add this video to my watch later. I still keep in my, my, my mic hot. I don't worry about that. I don't care about that. Uh, save to watch later. What's on my watch later? What's on my watch later? Ooh, I have another video I added today about reprogramming Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Yeah, that one was kind of interesting. Mm. Don't know why we tour with eviction. Mm. Nice, that, that's interesting. Uh, yep, I'm certainly gonna watch this video. I wonder if I can... Hmm. Can I add this as a quick... Oh no. Because this is a lot... Okay, can I pop you up? Pop out? Do I need to... 
probably don't need a UID, right? Didn't jump scare you. The app didn't jump scare you? Nice. Does this work? Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. The ad is. Is the ad gone? Yeah, the ad is over. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. I'm just making uh, a, a new dock so I can have visi better visibility uh, on the apps and stuff. Uh, probably. The chat is. Yeah, because the chat notification I get uh, model level is just a freaking mess. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll stop this thingy. Uh, where do I put it? How do I integrate this to something? I don't know. I want, I want, I want to put this some inside my. Oh, okay. And I guess I can. Yeah, can I zoom you out? Okay, I, 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 we are, we are making progress here. Uh, honestly, the only thing I need is this one, right? Yeah, yeah, that's work. That, that actually works fantastic. Okay. Yeah, I added a new doc to me OBS that shows me like a more efficient way of seeing when an ad is going to start, so... Yeah, I got the timer here on the bottom. Yeah, that, that actually works quite well. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Progress! <laughs> but yeah, such a shame when a platform, an entire platform closes and I feel it for every Korean streamer who was get like depending on this because a bunch of them probably were leaving from this right you know there is always a percentage of people that are leaving from content creation or they were like making strides to reach that point and then it, it's something completely outside of their control which absolutely sucks it's they, there is nothing they could do right it's what do you do there there is no no easy thing you can do there is no easy solution you just consider moving i'm pretty sure some people who are doing really well are considering moving away because is it worth it to to, to, to switch platforms are they, are they gonna make it that way is it is, is it i don't know it, it it's tough dude it's tough mm. Mm. but uh, well i will i i, I hope Everything goes well for those people, for all the all the Korean streamers that are are being displaced by this. I, I really hope it goes well for them. Mm. Yeah, and I keep doing my daily. <laughs> Today has a daily. Yeah, I, I, I usually do, uh, do them a bit faster, but not that much actually, because I like reading news and stuff like that. And this is gonna be probably kind of more for stream dynamics, so I'm. Um, I kinda... I'm gonna say... I'm, I'm gonna provide feedback to chat. <laughs> I really like what Fox did there. Um, of giving me a topic to review and something like that. And yeah, if there is a, some ongoing news you want me to tell my opinion on, as long as it's... I mean, if, if it's on the on the business, you know, don't, don't let's not get like on the big heavy politic stuff that's happening that that I want to I I I I would say I am not smart enough to have opinions on very big on very big things I will just say dumb stuff uh, so yeah anything that about the big thing that's happening on the world yeah I won't say anything <laughs> on that I won't comment on that but on random news that been happening yeah feel free to tell me and and we we can talk about them yeah Mm -hmm. Especially when we're playing Azul Lane. Azul Lane is our background just chatting game, you know? It's, uh, this doesn't count to me as playing a game. It's, this is me, like, feel free to talk to me about whatever. <laughs> if I'm playing like a more involved game, I probably won't stop everything to watch a, 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 an article. But here, yeah, why not? Mm. Because I've been like... 
this is something I mentioned in my, in my presentation when I came back. I'm trying new stuff and I'm, I'm trying to find stuff that makes me comfortable. And yeah, I, I like uh, talking about random stuff and and then going like uh, gaming news and stuff like that. Today I was reading uh, I was reading Reddit and apparently people so. You know that Suicide Squad game that was gonna release at some point and then it was like very bad and they kinda sent, the, sent it back to the kitchen so to cook it again <laughs> uh, because people what they were seeing about the gameplay was like awful and well apparently that game is now about to release and there were leaks about the history of the game about the story not the history, the story that the game is going to have and people are, I don't know if they know the ending but they know like major events that are going to happen in that game and people are pissed at least it was Kim the Beatle that the day before or whatever it did it was, yeah that one was a mess that one was a huge mess I wasn't in the it's not the kind of game I play so I didn't realize but yeah, that game had been in production since 2021, 2022. It was crazy. The most wish-listed game on Steam also. That, that, that. And what, they re it released for a week. It was like a really bad game. And then it, it, it just doesn't exist anymore. I don't know if you can even play it, right? I think, did they close the servers? That, that, that's such a huge... Like, well, it was a scam, right? I mean... Legally, I don't think I can say it was a scam, but uh, a lot of people are saying that it was a scam. A lot of people that know a lot more about this stuff than I do, they are saying it was a scam. That, 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 that's such a crazy thing. It was supposed to be like this huge open world game too, and it ended up being like an extraction uh, shooter like Tarkov and, and other games that I don't know. I only know Tarkov. I've, uh, about uh, on this action shooter genre, it, it, because it's one I don't, I don't play because I play junk like this. <laughs> yeah, that 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 was wild. That was wild. I'm gonna have a sip of my coffee. Oh. Mm. But yeah. Early access was a mistake. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't even know if that game had early access, but only didn't. Uh, but that, 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 that's the sad truth of the matter, right? You cannot get hyped for anything. If it looks too good to be true, it's probably gonna be too good. And nowadays, if it, go if it looks decent, it's probably too good either. It's like, eh, don't get hyped, prepare for disappointment, and... At the, at the worst, you'll be pleasantly surprised. Don't pre-purchase for the love of God. Do not pre-order. Never pre-order. Don't. 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 Yeah. Don't give people your money until you see the product. That, that It's a hard lesson. Look. I'm not gonna... You know what? That... Do you know those people that say like they, they try to be act like they are better than the system? Uh, I I won't try to do that. I, I always remind me this reminds myself of the of the people that say something like oh apps don't affect me or, or stuff like that. And it's like no apps do affect you. Advertisement does affect you. It's like oh no uh, it doesn't matter if I'm watching an ad it means I'm not gonna buy the product. Actually it doesn't. People smarter than us have done research and you are more likely because the thing with apps, right? And this is another tangent before I go into the pre-order thing. Welcome to mainstream. Uh, the thing with apps is like, it doesn't matter when it's stuff you know, but if you like, had, uh, if at some point you need to buy something that you never buy, like, I don't know, you have to buy some clothes detergent, you have to buy toothpaste. That's the time where the app does its magic, because you're gonna remember, yeah, this this brand has a bunch of apps, it's probably good enough, uh, I'm gonna grab this one. And that's when the app did its magic. It doesn't do, do it on, on the big stuff, you know, it does it on the on the, these kind of things when you are not part of the market already. Because if you're already part of the market, you probably have your predilection and you're not gonna switch brands usually because of an ad or something. You're, it's mostly targeted towards people who, who are on the fence. 
or who haven't been exposed to the product yet. And and yeah, when people say like, and I'm not gonna say like, it, and what I want to say from that is that I've been victim of the hype machine. Uh, I, I'm not gonna try to pretend like oh, I'm immune to the hype. I've never, I have never pre-ordered a game. I have pre-ordered games. I, I, I had to get Baby Barn to stop pre-ordering, pre-ordering, and I still pre-order after being born. Uh, but for me, my major barn with pre-ordering has got to be Mortal Kombat X, which it, it was a whole thing, right? Uh, the, the I ended up pre-ordering, I think, the collection edition on Steam that came with the first combat pack or something. I think it was 80 bucks. I pre-ordered for 80 bucks or something, and then a multiple things happened. The first thing that was happening with Mortal Kombat X was that they were trying to use this new technology with Steam. They were trying to do this thing where the game would... This was something that some PS3 games used to do, I don't know if PS4 games do, where while you were... Ah! Hi, mana! Thank you for the yeet. While you were installing the game, you could play it, and as you get, uh, the game will install all the necessary data to start playing it, and the, it will finish installing while you were playing it. It was like a way to avoid having a long install time. And for fighting games, I think it will like allow you a couple of characters and then allow the rest while you were pl playing the game. Good morning, hope you're doing well. We're talking about pre-orders and about how I got burned by with my Mortal X pre-order and then I stopped pre-ordering games. I learned my lesson. Don't pre-order games. <laughs> so, with Mortal Kombat X, they tried to do this on Steam. Well, they would allow you to play the game while you were downloading it. But the thing is, in order to allow that system, they made the download process really convoluted in that it will download pieces of the game or something and it will crash a lot and it, they made it so it was it, it would have been faster to download the game than to do all that shit. And um, it, would, it would barely work, it would barely let you play the game while it was downloading in the background, and eventually it will crash and it, will, it wouldn't fully download the game, so it wouldn't allow you to get the game. So we were on the pre-release window because the pre-order had like a pre-release window where you could play the game before it officially released. And I don't think anybody got to play the game during that window more than a tiny bit your last pre-order was Cyberpunk. Were you satisfied with your pre-order or were you born? I think a lot of people were born with that Cyberpunk pre-order, right? Uh, a lot of people were very disappointed with the performance of that game on release. But I heard some people that weren't, so this is why I ask. This is why I ask. I know some people that had no issues with the game, so... Who knows? Maybe you were one of the lucky ones. <clears throat> but yeah, with Mortal Kombat X, I was like... Ugh. I lost all the window, uh, I, 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 had, I was all hyped to play it during the morning. You've seen worse. Fair. Fair. Absolutely fair. I ended up going to sleep, going to bed, so I didn't get the, the pre-release window or anything, and then I started playing it the other day. Um, eventually, they had a bug that reset everyone's progress. <laughs> like it, 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 they were trying to to fix the the issues with the new, that that weird loading system they wanted to make, and they ended up wiping everybody's saves. So that was fun. Um, because of that, they gave everyone the DLC that unlocks the vault for free. Because they have like a, a DLC. Mortal Kombat had the, has this thing called the vault where you gain points by playing the game and then you unlock things like skins, characters, background, concept art, stuff like that, right? And they had a DLC on the. Well, the, they were heavily monetizing the game, right? And they had this DLC that will give you everything on the, on the Steam store. So you didn't have to grind the game. And they gave us everybody who were affected by that save point issue the DLC for free, which I used it because I lost a lot of progress, but also that meant that I had no incentive to play the game as much because there was... Hey, if you gave me something to unlock, I will play more. 
That's I my brain works very easily. I'm a simple girl. Give me a, a a game that has like something to unlock, and I will grind for it. I like the carrot and the stick. I, the carrot and the stick works really well for me. Get, let me take a bite of that carrot. Uh, we are all good. I I I I I will grind if you give me that reward, and I will probably play the game more than I should. And yeah. This is why I I, I, I I get really hooked into MMOs and stuff like that, or even gachas like this one. Give me the shiny thing, give me the reward um, after the long grind, and yeah, I'm good. But take that away, give me all the rewards, give me all the the all the uh, the, the whole box of carrots and no string attached, and then I will eat all the carrots. And I will stop running, I will stop going after them, I, I, I'll stop moving, and that's when I lost all my steam, and I I was, I was, didn't want to play the multiplayer, and I play a bit of the story mode, and then I realized I'm not that into fighting games, so I kind of stopped playing the game. I have reinstalled the game over the years, I played it a bit, and then I uninstalled it again, but I didn't get my $80 worth out of it. I did not get my $80 worth out of it. Yeah. And that, well, I, I did it in the sense that it became, it, it, it became like the thing in my head. Each time I consider pre-ordering a game, in my head I go, remember Mortal Kombat X? Remember Mortal Kombat X? Do you remember Mortal Kombat X? Well, don't, don't do that again. It's why you play Fortnite. Yeah, I can, t I can totally see that. Um, I haven't played Fortnite a lot, but. A lot of times I, I, I feel like mm, good, it could feel good to install Fortnite and just play and try to unlock skins and stuff like that. It feels like it could be fun. <laughs> it's not a bad game though, but I don't know if I would play it solo. I have enjoyed playing it in, co in collabs and stuff with other people. Ah, oh, thank you for the head that. But it. it, it I, I can totally get that. A, a bunch of games I play for that a, a, lo a lot. Um, they are like those dopamine machines, right? Uh, I'm, I'm going trippy. Like Vampire Survivors, for example. I actually uninstalled Vampire Survivors. Uh, there is a new DLC on Vampire Survivors, but I was like, uh, do you actually want to play it? I'm going like, to like get into a, a weird loop with that game. So I was like, okay, I think I got my... Well, Vampire Survivors was a great deal, though. I, I I cannot complain about the money spent on Vampire Survivors because that's like just a great amount of fun, but but for three bucks or something. Also, now the the current DLC is Among Us based, and I was like, okay, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I don't need to play this anymore. <laughs> there is no that because it, once you play enough Vampire Survivors, you realize that you are not as much playing a game, you are just seeing numbers pop up and getting the dopamine, and it's like, yeah, you peer behind the curtain, and then you realize that, well, maybe, maybe it's not as healthy for my mind state to keep playing this game. I'm, I, I'm reinforcing bad behaviors. I shouldn't be reinforcing the part of my brain that get easily entertained by shiny things and noises. <laughs> Numbers are good. Oh, numbers are great, and it can become ridiculously. But I try not to become to to get super attached to that because I reach a point where I get obsessed, and that's the point I always try to prevent with games. The point of obsession, you know, the point where you are playing the game because you 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 expect feeling better, or you expect to get like a, a bunch of. Um, of dopamine, but then you don't get that dopamine anymore, and then you 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 end up in that like weird state of you're doing it, but you're not getting the the good thing about it, and then it becomes frustrating, and then you you look at the amount of time you've been playing that game, and you, the whole day went by, and you don't feel like you really had fun. So yeah. I, I hate that feeling, so I kind of control myself. It's why you play RPGs. Well, I think RPGs are a bit better than just glorified slot machines, right? Uh, RPGs have story, and it feels good. I mean, yeah, it feels good to hit someone for a very, very chunky amount of damage and stuff like that, but that I think that hits a different... That's more balanced, I would say. That's a lot more balanced, and, and it's okay to play a couple hundred hours on an RPG because you feel like you're doing stuff. You feel like you're doing stuff. 
you weren't just watching the numbers grow, you were participating in a story, you were making your character stronger, you were beating challenges. It's a lot different than Vampire Survivor. So there are a lot of games that distills the parts that give dopamine and, and they just give you that part. But the rest, it's like uh, when people say like the, the, the journey uh, is more important than the destination. The, 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 the road to breaking the game over your tiny knee. Well, that, that, that also feels good, right? When you reach a point where nobody can beat you. But I think it's to reach a point where nobody can beat you, it, you have to experience the point when everything could beat you, right? And that's the thing, it's, that's the journey. You have to experience defeat to be able to properly savor success. It's not only good to reach a point where you destroy everything, because you need to be able to compare that situation when how you were at the start, where everything, even the most lowly creature, could kick your ass. And then you, and then it's when it feels like really good. That's part of the journey, and that's the journey cannot be skipped. A lot of these games, like, will skip the journey, right? Will skip the the, the long grind or the, the points where you are not the strongest and where you have to do whatever you can to beat very basic enemies until when you you are so powerful that not even gods can uh, fight you. But yeah, it needs time. It's a slow burn. It's a slow burn, but it's worth it. It's a long road, and that is what makes the destination even, even ever so sweet. Mm. What I'm doing here? Oh, I need more points. I need 20 points. I'll do this one. Still with my dailies. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah. Mm. <sighs> That's the thing, right? And I'm thinking what I'm gonna play after this. Probably some Yakuza. It's been a while since I didn't play Yakuza. Every day is a Yakuza Friday now. <laughs> you are happy. I'm happy that you are happy. I'm very happy that you are happy. Is there any particular reason why you are happy that you want to share with the class? You don't need to. I'm just asking because that's a nice thing to do. <laughs> ah, but yeah, I'm happy as well, actually. I'm very chill. I'm feeling like relaxed. Ooh, congratulations. Nice, nice, nice. Did you get a payout? That's very nice. Feels really good. Feels really good. Uh, yep, 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 yep. That's a great feeling. That's a great feeling. Absolutely great feeling. I actually, I don't know. I have a couple maniacs that have been subscribed to my channel during my year-long hiatus. And... I actually got a payout in the middle of my hiatus, and I was like, w why do I get a mail with Twitch with money? Wh why? Why? Nice, 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 nice. Don't spend it all on one place. <laughs> <laughs> or do. I'm not your mom. Do whatever you want with it. It's yours. You earned it. You can do whatever you want with it. That That's the... I mean, when you're a uh, streamer hobbyist, you know... Um, you're not living from Twitch, that, uh, I mean, Twitch money is the the greatest uh, example of disposable cash, right? It's like, yeah, you you literally gain that, that that by playing video games online. You can do whatever with that you want with it without feeling any guilt whatsoever. <laughs> At least that's how I interpret it, you know? It's like, yeah, heck yeah. Uh, did I got the, yeah, I got the thing. <clears throat> I need to get like a lot of points up here. It only took 11 months of apps. <laughs> hey, I think uh, actually, mm, that's funny, but uh, you actually getting a payout puts you in the top 10% streamers on Twitch, something like that. I don't remember the number. Let me get, um, but it, 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 it's something like that. It's uh, Most people that stream here don't ever see a payout. Uh, percentage of tweets. <laughs> Why? You should feel good. That get a payout. You are, you're on the right track.
Uh, no, that's like... <sighs> because I know that a number that if you can keep like a 3 person average or more or something like that, that, that also puts you in the minimum top 25% streamers. Like, there are a lot of channels that just stream with, for for no viewers or just one or two, one person at most. Um, like being affiliate, getting a payout, stuff like that, that, that puts you in a very... That means you are elite. I, I'm gonna say that we are elite. We are elite, mana. We are elite. That's that's the thing. We have to take our, uh, our wins. Not. It doesn't matter how small a win is. We have to take it. You know. Um, yeah. That's what makes me happy. <laughs> Don't be sad. <laughs> <clears throat> but hey, the next one hopefully will happen sooner than. The, the first one because we all keep improving we all keep growing and hey again that will feel better because the journey was long and we will look back at our challenges and say hell I work hard for this I work hard playing video games for this I play the hell out of those video games can nobody wants to help me with my boat I'll hit it my, my build is not optimized to fight this boss, but it doesn't matter. It's one of those that you can keep whittling at their health until they die. They, it, it stores the damage I do, so I don't have to beat them in one go. Mm. What I was talking about? I don't know. At this point, I never know what I'm talking about. I don't need to. I am remaining hydrated. That's the important part. Mm. Hydration, very important. What a, Okay, I need to find a topic in my brain. <laughs> These are modem sounds. Some of you watching the stream might not have been born when you have to go use dial-up internet. You barely hydrate. You should. Dude, you should. No. What are you doing? At least while streaming. I mean, so there is a, uh, the, the thing about the, unless you have like a problem with uh, a health issue, not a health issue. I, I, I mean, there are people that don't drink as much as they should but that thing where you have to take like i don't know how many liters every how many times that's a myth usually you you are expected to drink only when you have uh, when you are thirsty but on stream ah you have a redeem for it okay yeah on stream you should be hydrating mm. so <clears throat> honestly um I removed my my like self care redeems because I reached a point where I do my own self care, and I want to have the responsibility of me doing my own self care without other people having to tell me because that means I can carry that uh, to other parts of my life. And in general, I keep hydrated and stuff like that, right? Um, I uh, part of myself uh, working on myself is that I reach a point where I can do it by myself, and I keep I want to keep doing it for myself, but. Something that can uh, help, I don't know if you have the schedule apps, like I run, you stare at your bottle as I do whole weeks with nothing. No, no, I mean, it, it's only a sip every now and then. And if you're streaming, you should keep hydrated, like you're gonna feel it on your throat else. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and that's the point. Sometimes people won't redeem the hydrate thing, and that's... Yeah, I understand, I understand. Some people won't redeem the hydrate, and then you don't hydrate, and it's like, no, it's counterproducent, right? Because... Not everybody hits that redeem, so... You, you, the, the thing is getting used to, to take sips. You know, every now and then you take a sip. I'm a very sippy person, right? <laughs> Which makes sense. I'm a ah! I'm a soda vtuber, so I I I I I, I sip at things like not soda because mm. I shouldn't say that. By the end, you sound horrible. I mean, yeah, that's kind of the indication you should be hydrating, dude. Come on, take a couple sips of water every now and then. It's not that, like, yeah, it's not bad. Uh, the recommendation for this I've seen is. You shouldn't drink things with bubbles. And I know, I know. It's heresy if I say so myself, but... 
if you are trying to take care of your voice, carbonation is not good for anything that requires you to use your, your voice for extended periods of time. And and you do RPGs, not on voice RPGs. I don't. You are trying to. You are killing your vocal cords. You are killing your vocal cords. I cannot. I, 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 one of the things I decided I'm not going to be doing a lot is reading every single piece of text I come upon on a game because I, I don't like the, the additional stress it puts on my voice. It exhausts me. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. I don't have the strength. I mean, I don't know how people stream visual novels. I tried streaming a visual novel a couple times, but then I was like, I'm never doing it again. It's too much. It's just too much. I don't like doing reading a ton of stuff out loud all the time. So yeah, start hydrating. Come on, you need that 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 that, that, that tasty water, water, bottle of water. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. Honestly, just get used to have like in general. Uh, well, you already have a water water or something, so. Just get used to taking sips. Eventually, it becomes natural, you know. They're like, uh, we are the human being is a creature. <laughs> exactly, boa, boa. I cannot do a British accent, but I can do. If Nami was here, she would know what my British accent is, which is, oye, ve mi chico, voy a tomarme un tecito y comerme unos crompetas. Yep, that's that's the only accent I can make. So we have to tell that this is my British accent. <laughs> Uh, but what I was talking about, we are creatures of routine, you know? Uh, you start doing something often enough, and then you need to you stop thinking about it and just do it. I, I've i gotten used to have like a cup of something, like... Uh, currently I'm having some coffee with a bit of soy milk. But in theory, I think coffee is bad for your... It's not ideal for hydrating, for intense voice action. Caffeine is not good, I guess. But it doesn't matter. It's better than nothing, and it's just my breakfast. Oh. And I like how it cools my mocha cords because it's it's cool at this point. But I don't mind having cool coffee. Oh, hi Nami. We were. I was t just talking about you. <laughs> Hello. Welcome, welcome. I was doing my British accent. I don't know if you if, if you were able to see my British accent. I, I just did my British accent like 30 seconds ago. <laughs> welcome, welcome and good morning. Yeah, this is a, such a nice boat. Mm. Pew pew. Yeah, they, and it's a, they have a robot bear for some reason because that's... See, an accent. Well, yeah, technically it's an accent. It's not... Uh, you know what? You're right. It's it, it's an accent. It's not maybe the right one, but it's an accent. It exists within the category of accents. We were talking about hydration at some point, and now we're talking about the accents. You got a, you love a good shmup. Yeah, the, the, a lot of those can be really fun. What is my favorite? There is this. Uh, you just came ten seconds ago. You missed the British accent. Yeah. You did? I, 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 I even was uh, talking about you because now uh, each time I <laughs> think about my British accent, I, I think about you. And I was like, yeah. <clears throat> I, I was telling, like, if Nami was here, she, she she would say that I can do a very good British accent. Yeah, yeah. Oye, me mi chico. Me tomo un tecito. Me tomo, me como unos biscuits. Y me voy a decirle hola al Big Ben. Cheque, che. I don't know what the, uh, I don't found myself. <laughs> but yeah, she maps are really nice. Uh, that's a good British accent. Thank you. Thank you. I swear you've been doing it for years and no idea about all the Twitch stuff. Ah. It's like hundred percent luck, a hundred percent work, zero percent math. <laughs> I don't know. There are good. You can do everything right, and not, and uh, and stuff won't happen like you want the, wanted to. And then you can do everything wrong, and stuff will happen like in weird ways that 
end up working out. At the end of the day, it's like, do uh, you need to find a way of doing it that makes you happy and satisfied with yourself. Uh, f I would say focus on the journey. I would, yeah, with, with content creation, please focus on the journey. Like Lurker Etiquette. Hmm. What are your questions about Lurker Etiquette? Um, okay. So, I would say, like, Lurkers are always appreciated, uh, but there are things that you could do that are, like, hmm. Like, probably are less likely to upset a streamer. So, for example, um... My, my channel is very lurk friendly. I even have a redeem that's uh, lurking high, which you can use when you are here and you don't want to start a conversation, but you want to say hi, and and that's that's the redeem that people can use. So ah, no, you have your stream avatar set to keep them hidden. Ah, okay, okay, I understand the context. Yeah, I will say usually assume. The safest thing you can do is assume that a lurker, unless a lurker interacts with you first, assume they don't want to be called to attention. So, yeah, I think that's the best way to do it. Even stream avatars, actually, yeah, it's good, it's good. I, personally, as a, a lurker that doesn't want to be engage with unless I engage first. I don't consider like the stream avatar appearing necessarily a bad thing, but it worries me that the streamer might want to engage me when they see that a new thingy appear on their avatars list. Because there are some streamers and this is like uh, the, the bad thing that, that uh, some streamers do is that the moment somebody shows up on their chat, they don't say hi and the streamer themselves talks to them. And yeah, that can be very dis uh, putting off for viewers, especially for people who just want to chill, watch the stream, and they don't necessarily want to engage. Uh, although, uh, and also, a lot of people cannot engage because you have to. That, that's the other thing, right? Twitch is like a platform where you don't like the avatar of you when you're lurking. And yeah, perfectly safe. Uh, perfectly safe. Fair. <laughs> perfectly fair. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that setting like ma ma makes a lot of sense, actually. While it doesn't bother me personally, I can understand it. What does bother me is if, uh, if I'm on a stream and I haven't said anything and people start talking to me, it's like, no, dude, no. I am, I, let me start the, the conversation myself. Especially because sometimes some people are, are doing stuff, right? Some people will put a stream on, maybe they're putting the stream on the TV. I, a lot of times they will put a, a Twitch stream on the TV while I'm cleaning around the house. Social anxiety. Well, yeah, it, it's part social anxiety, but also it's part being rude, like uh, Mana says, right? It's like if the person is not... Uh, they haven't say hi or anything yet and they're just like chilling on the stream like bring him just start talking to them like hey dude ah, i have a viewer i need to engage with them no no let, uh, let them chill let them chill but yeah but from a viewer perspective the the thing i don't like that's my pet peeve in the, and part of what i created the redeem is when that's fine uh what wait by shoutout, like, do you use, like, the Twitch shoutout command or something like that? Or just mention their, like, their, their name or something like, hi, dude. And <laughs> I mean, it's fair. By the way, it's fair, I guess. Um, the only thing my, 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 my pet peeve with some lurkers is when somebody shows on your chat and they meet, they don't say hi or anything, they just do your uh, bot lurk command and it's like, come on dude, say hi at if you're going to if you're going to type on chat, at least say hi and then say hey I'm gonna be lurking. Don't just do slash dot lurk. It feels so impersonal. And because of that I created the redeem that it's like it's a way of saying hi and I want to say hi but I don't want to do anything else. And it, it feels good for me and I think it feels good for the viewer as well. But yeah lurker etiquette actually is kinda complicated. It's uh, it, it's a bit of a, cha a social challenge on how to how to engage. The guru thing, I think you saw it. Ah, okay, so the whole Twitch shutout. Well, I mean, it works. It can be a bit like... I mean, if... 
I usually do proper shoutouts when people raid me or for people who are friends of the channel and I'm talking about them and, and I'm like saying, ah, yeah, go follow that person when it becomes part of the context. If it's just like a random view, uh, Twitch viewer, I probably, they might not, um, they might not even be a streamer, so that's why I don't do it. But that that's the thing, again, that's how I do it. It's I don't claim to be the owner of the book or anything. I just... I just share my experiences. I'm not passing judgment on the way you do it. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm making the whole disclaimer because I, I am... So, Nami might relate to that, uh, but something over here, the way we speak, sometimes it feels like we are telling people how to do things because we speak in a way that is... It feels like we are telling people you should do this when we are not telling you should do this it's more like this is how i do things or this is what i think how things are um, but sometimes it can feel like our, our, our way of talking uh, orders people to do stuff and i i am always very conscious to not do that to not do that ah, thank you for the headpads streamer or not you try to be nice yeah absolutely <clears throat> yeah yeah uh, being nice is a key part. Being nice with everyone. Provide a, a, a welcoming uh, environment. I think I'm gonna allow my brain to reach my mouth. This is a nice song. I felt like my brain was going too fast or my mouth was too far away from my brain and I was stumbling a lot on my words. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take a moment. I'm gonna let everything catch up. Everything be in sync. You play no game. No game is the best game. No game is the best game is such a true thing to say. <laughs> There is no best game. No game is the best game. Absolutely. <laughs> Not to say hello there. Proceeds to become virtually non-existent for the rest of the stream session. I don't have a problem with that, actually. It's like, hi. I, I will be like, hi back. And, and then we can leave it at that. I mean, I usually ask something because I'm, a, I'm, I'm an engaging girl, but I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't mind that. What what kind of annoys me a tiny bit is when they don't even say, when somebody doesn't even say hi, they just say uh, slash lark. And it's like, uh, okay, I, I appreciate it, but let's be a person at least. Come on, say hi. Hi, gonna lark. Have a good one. <laughs> yeah, just a tiny hi. I think it's, just g give me that personal interaction. Anyone say hi is like the lottery for to you. Well, I I completely understand it. I completely understand it. I've had like my fair share of set of your uh, streams where it's like waiting for someone to show up and do something. <laughs> but eventually you start building your community, you start building your regulars and well, that, that, that also works. You, Nemi says, you, do, you never say hi, just some dumb phrase. I think today you said boat. That was a very deep thing to say, boat. And very proper for, 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 for the day, for the stream. <laughs> but this is why we keep at it. We keep at it, and this is the thing where I say, you have to enjoy the journey and not the destination. And it's very hard as a content creator, because every content creator will tell you uh, the viewer number doesn't matter, the, the follow number doesn't matter, and like they shouldn't, but a lot of times they do. It's very hard to make your brain not care about the stuff. It takes some work, and I, I will say that taking a moment to think what do you want to do when you are streaming and maybe having a plan 
of what to do if there is no one show around so you can still enjoy the process of making your stream so you can say when you end your stream I had a good time that's that's I think that's important as a content creator especially as a low viewership content creator like ourselves because yeah I'm not gonna claim like a, I'm a high viewership content creator I know I know where I stand right now and I am aware of it and one of the journeys I had in my mental health row is not let that is reach a point where I can do this kind of stuff not get like thousands of viewers but still enjoy the process of streaming I mean I'm having a blast and, and right now I mean I'm having a ton of people to talk with so I know that I'm very privileged and um, I don't want to dismiss like all, you all like I, I'm very lucky that I have so many people showing around on this stream but I know there are gonna be some streams in the future where maybe there will be no one <laughs> and on those streams I hope I feel like I can make it so I can still enjoy them I can still feel like I did something I wanted to do I'm happy that I did it at the end of the day and not feel like I used to before I did my hiatus when I was like well now I show on this one so I guess it was a waste of time and I don't want to feel like that anymore so I face my content creation in a way that even if nobody sh uh, shows up, I'm still going to be having a good time. That's my plan. And it, sometimes plans don't happen like we meant. We mean them to, because our brain doesn't always behave like we wanted to. But we can try, I guess. And that's what I'm doing, now, personally. I'm trying to be my best self and to enjoy every moment. I don't want streaming to become another point of stress for me like it was before. I wanted to stream but I didn't want to do it in a way that made me uh, sad. Or it was dependent on people showing up, you know, because then you have that, that thing where, yeah, I had a bunch of people on my stream, I feel great! And then you're chasing that high and if it doesn't happen again then it, it, you, you start feeling like, oh no. I want, I want that high again, I want that high again. You became like a attention junkie. <laughs> and I don't want that. I definitely don't want that. And that's, uh, that's been like deep, deep, deep thoughts with Nox. <laughs> I, uh, now I'm gonna feed uh, ship girls to other ship girls. Eat them. Nom 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 nom. I'm improving them. And I will never use them, but... Uh, I need to do something with the, all the stoops. And I think we finished our dailies. It only took us two hours. Probably won't do this every single stream. <laughs> I was like, I, I could start every stream with doing some Azul Lane dailies. You know what? That that will turn me into a Azul Lane uh, channel. You'll take them phrases. Absolutely. Hey. I, I won't expect people to show up and do like a, a, an introduction letter. They can say potato for all I care. Well, actually, if you say potato, I will be happy because I love potatoes. Just, just, just make it so your first phrase is not the gosh damn bot that Lord Common. I don't even know if they. You start the source egg with PS. To the list PS Fantasy Star Online. I play that for a bit. I, I kind of okay. So Fant Fantasy Star Online is a game that I enjoy, but but you know when you know yourself, it was kind of what I was talking about with Vampire Survivors that I felt like that game was going to lead me towards a very dark path because I was seeing that in at least I know that they did a major update after I stopped playing but when I was playing it I was playing the English version right I played after the English release but I was seeing that I needed to run out to get proper uh, resources 
uh, I was starting to make alts, I was starting to make dailies with all the alts, and I was starting to feel and see my the amount of time I was putting on the game for the daily grind was increasing, was going upwards, and I was like, okay, I see that I'm starting to become obsessed, I see that I'm starting to go towards a dark path on this game, even though I'm enjoying it right now, I am going to stop. You are a guild of one, so you do dailies for your whole guild. Oh my god, that's, that's a lot of dailies, I'm gonna zoom. Jeez. Yeah, I saw that I was going towards a dark path with that game and I was like, you know, I'm I'm gonna stop here. Because I'm going I, I, I'm getting too too attached in a bad way. And I don't want to enter in another loop, you know? Give me some of that oil. I don't want to enter in another loop. So that's why I kinda stopped Fantasy Sister Online. Oh, it, it, it is more streamlined now? Okay, nice. I know that they, they patched it. They did like a, a, a major revamp of the game, so... Three guild, guild quests a week. Okay, that's not that bad. Yeah, what I was seeing, I don't remember, it was like some caps that they were character lock and not uh, account lock. So there was an incentive to run alts and I was starting to create alts to run them and to do those stuff. I, I think it was like to gain money and pass that money to my main character or something. I don't remember uh, anymore what I was doing, but there was an incentive to run multiple characters and I was doing too much and I didn't want to become obsessed. So I, I was starting my journey of growth where I was deciding not to get like super invested in a single game. And because of that, I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna do this. So I, I took a deep breath and uninstalled the game. <laughs> they cracked down on that. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that. That's, I, I cannot do games that require you to run outs anymore. It's it's just too much, you know? It's just too much. I used to play Ragnarok online and you needed a bunch of alts unless you had a very active guild. And even so you wanted a couple alts to a bunch of to do a bunch of stuff and you were training your alts and and you blink and you had like twenty different characters. All quests are account based. Nice, nice, nice. I, I like that they, they they are doing that now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like games that are. Fo I like those games where you have a like Final Fantasy XIV, where you have a single character and you can be everything and you have no no gameplay reason to run an alt. You know, that's that that that's something that that I really like because you get. It, it, it's more about my brain than other stuff. Like, I, I'm not gonna say it's a problem with the game, it's more a problem with my brain. <laughs> but I get obsessed. I get really, really, really obsessed. And I start overdoing it. And that makes, makes the whole process kinda uncomfortable for myself. Da, 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 da. Well, we are five minutes away from an ad. That's a thing. Um, I am done with my daily, so what can we play now? I'm gonna check my... I have a categories on my Steam, and I use them to determine what's... Ah, uh... oh, I, I think we can. I can show this. Can I do this? Like, can I drop the picture on... Because I did my, my my Steam recap thingy, you know, when you can see the, the games that you played. I think it's this one, right? Yeah, it's this one. Can I do this? I think I can do this. Yeah, I can. There we go. That kind of works. I. Yeah, that's... Um, if you're interested, that's my, my, my Steam in review for this one. For this year, for 2023. I played 23 Steam games. 
Uh, I got 20, 220 achievements. I did 40, 488 sessions. I play only seven new games, and you can see that 73% of my time playing Steam games were uh, Elder Scrolls Online. So again, I can't get obsessed with the game. <laughs> <laughs> but I was having a really chill time. Yeah, I, I I played a ton of Elder Scrolls Online. I really got into it this year. I have like a bunch of... I, I haven't installed it now because I, I was feeling that I was going through the motions. But uh, I put so many hours. Uh, let me see how many hours I have recorded. I have... <laughs> Let me let me let, let me show you. <laughs> yeah, I. Uh, you have a good feeling I may be into Elder Scrolls. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe. I think, maybe, 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 just maybe, right? Just maybe. I I only have like. Over a thousand hours, and most of those are from this year. <laughs> yeah, I was having a blast with Elder Scrolls. I, uh, I, I was enjoying the story a lot. Uh, that game is really good. Uh, after they patched it and upgraded and added stuff, I don't know. I, I I, I, I think I, I, I changed the appearance of my character because I had like some free tokens to do that, and um, I. I've been just having... <laughs> you, you really want to know how you'll manage to get the magical 1k hours playing a lot, dude. Playing a lot. Also leaving the game open when I'm doing other stuff because I don't close the game when I'm going to have lunch and stuff like that, you know? And so that means that the game just stays open and... And yeah. It, it counts time. Some games also count time on the launcher. Sometimes you get the launcher open and it starts counting towards the game and that makes it to look like you have more time in the game than that, that, that reality. But on this one I spent a lot of time. Um, yeah, I did a lot of stuff. I was in a couple of guilds, I was uh, doing some dungeons. Uh, the story, the story is so fun. Uh, the stories on the areas are really fun and really, really cool. Play a ton of Deep Rock Galactic, like you compare it with uh, with uh, ESO, and but I did play a ton of Deep Rock Galactic. Really enjoyed that game. Very very fun. I think not as you. You were playing it a lot this year, also, right? I I, I don't know. Maybe it, it shows on your recap. Uh, you did this last Thursday. Nice. What was your top game? I play a ton of Skyrim, um, modded Skyrim and stuff. I. Yep, I play a lot of Elder Scrolls in general, you can see. I play quite a bit of Star together, also. I, 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 I got really into it for a month or so. Ah, you did a Twitch one. Ah, okay, okay, I get it. Yeah, this is the Steam one. And then I went hard into Hollow Knight. I The last time I finished Hollow Knight, I had like 70% of uh, completion, and now I have over 100. I, did a, I started from scratch. I did a brand new save file, and yeah. Had a bunch of, uh, had a bunch of fun with it. Uh, I still need to beat the, the proper boss. Okay, we're jumping into an ad in 20 seconds, so... Uh, I don't know. You can stare at me now. You can stare into my eyes. Cyberpunk, Dragon Quest, and Disco. I have to play Disco. I have to play Disco. I'll keep talking, though. I will just put my face really big now. <laughs> With my last breath, but yeah, we are in a... We'll see each other Hi, SMDG. Welcome to the ad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh... Uh, uh, okay, do, 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 do I still have you? <laughs> I, I wish I could see if you guys are seeing the ad or, or not. I, I do look different. Well, while the ad isn't going, I can, I can show you, like, part of myself. <laughs> uh, le, let me... Le, I, I, no advertisement. Excellent. Nox. Ads. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's running automatically. You don't see the ad. Absolutely nice. Okay, it works. It works. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So, um, well, during the ad, I will show Sidishi my, my, my new model. Elder Scrolls, uh, Boomer Broses? What? What's a Boomer Browser? Boomer Browser? What are you trying to say, dude? What are you trying to say? Let me, let me delete this image. We don't need this image anymore. Okay. So, ads over. Nice. Ah, it was, it, it, it was a short one. Yeah, I ran three minutes, but it was a short one. Okay, Sindishi, you haven't seen the new model yet, so you can see the, this is the... Uh, also, this is a new background, of course. This is the Soda Fountain. Uh, oh, we can show the entire Soda Fountain. And yeah, this is the new model. Dun, 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 dun. These are my legs. Bam, bam, bam. I have thighs. I have a skirt. I have fizzy soda action on the body. Bam, 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 bam. I do have some one sock only. Yeah, that that's always been the case. Though. That's not new. This is my, uh, my my chest, and this is my face, and I have a secret. I have a couple toggles. I can go angry. I can blush. And. What do you think about this hairstyle, though? What do you think about this hairstyle, though? Face. I have a face. But what do you think? Uh, yep, yeah, and you're not the first person who has said that. <laughs> Somebody else already said that they wanted to play tic-tac-toe on my head. I don't have a vampire mode anymore. It's kind of difficult to implement. I mean, I should have... I, I need to... Well, I can do it. I, I need to... I need to repaint the thing. Please put X on the top left. <laughs> someday someday we'll, have, we'll be able to play uh, Tic-Tac-Toe Alive. There probably is like a curl control or, or thingy can be automated to do that. But yeah, how have you been, dude? How have you... Been? Literally unwatchable. No vampire mode. Yeah, I know, I know. I mean, I've tried to do some vampire mode. The thing is, I can do it. I can do it. I need to take a minute with Photoshop and the textures. You've been good. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad. You saw me after like two years. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been over a year for sure. It's been over a year for sure. But now I'm back. No, I am certainly back. We were doing like some talking, some playing with the boats, and I was trying to figure out what to play, but I, I was showing like my Steam recap of all the Steam games I've been playing. Uh, okay, I don't want to see my highlight anymore. I want to see my see my games. Steam, show me my library. Thank you. Okay, I have a bunch of uh, games I have for for this. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna move this to my backlog. That's a... wait, did it release? After a thousand years, I, I'm like Ritter Pulsa. Wait. When? Did it release? Okay, uh, when it releases in DC. Uh, it's gonna be in 2024 from what I'm seeing. Let me check if it's already, if it has a, a store page. It will release next year. There we go. Does it has, a, it doesn't have a, 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 a Steam page yet, but we, we can certainly play it. Yeah. I, I really like the first one, so I'm all for playing the second one, especially because we thought we, we didn't think we, we were gonna get one. You think chat froze? Never mind. No, it's fine. Also, usually if it freezes, it will freeze on, on your side. And then you can just reload it. Yeah. I... <laughs> it happens. It happens. Mm. Uh, I think it's if, if you use an extension. The one I use is Frank or Facey. Uh, you can set it so it shows you your delay versus the, the player. That's usually helpful. You can see how seconds away are you from the stream, and that can help you know how much you have to wait to get a response 
about what you're saying. And then you can reset the browser uh, or the player, and that gets you a lot of times closer in sync with the streamer. But that will always happen because I'm in freaking South America, so <laughs> what you wanna do? There is always going to be a bit of delay unless we you are geographically located nearby, which I'm pretty sure is not the case because we are literally continents apart. Literally continents apart. Hmm. What do you want to play? I mean, I'm clearly not playing a soul line. Should I switch? This is just chatting. Eh. Why? No. Let's... Let me... Let me... Let me... Let me... Let me check my... Let me check my... Games there. I could... I could fool around Yakuza because we are going to be streaming like for an hour more. You know what? No, let's do some power wash simulator. I don't feel like getting into into uh, into something too hard. So let's do some power wash simulator. It's been a while. You live in a damn plateau. In a plateau is uh, that's like a like a mountain who has like a a flat top flat top mountain. Why is power wash simulator making me? Fuck chaos! I love that demo. That's a great demo. Career. Okay, wait. I, I think I can. I can actually put the the game on stream on on screen, right? That that that, that would be useful. Yeah, that would be useful. Is like show the game to people. Uh, Power Rush Simulator game audio. Yeah, flat top hill. Absolutely. Yep. 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 Meseta. I think we call them in Spanish. There we go. There we go. Game capture. Move to. Ch nope. That was the wrong button. And game mode. Meh. There we go. Weather is very nice. Yep. Your state is shaped like a seahorse. Nice. And the weather is very nice. Who is the weather there? Um, today we are having a weird weather. We had some days. Actually, same seas? Same seas? Same seas? Well, well, you know what? Twinsies, my friend. Twinsies. Let me let me do this. This. Um, Downloads. Is, is this the one? No, yeah, it's probably this one. Look, we're twinsies. See? We are like on uh, 17, 17 Celsius over here as well. Uh, it's kind of windy. It, it is kind of windy. It's been like super hot for a couple of days. Then it, it rained for a couple of days, and then today it's been kind of cold. I had to put on a coat and everything. But now it's warming up a bit. I mean, the the feels. I think the the wind is is calming a bit, so the the, the temperature doesn't feel colder than it actually is. <laughs> no, we are twins in soul and spirit, in weather spirit. We're weather twins. Like, nobody can match my hair. Don't even try. Find new Mac. I don't want to buy anything. So, okay, we have like. I think we need to buy this stuff? No, Tomb Raider is free. Midgar is Midgar. Weird. Do we want to clean. Clothes, house. I'm gonna no, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave. Uh, gonna leave rainway. Okay, let's do uh, career. Continue. Is there like a campaign thingy? Oh, they have updated this game so much. It's been years since I last played the game. I need to clean the ancient monument. Right, because I clean all this stuff. Do I want to clean that? Do I want to clean that? Nah, that's, that's bonus shops. Okay, an excavator, a train, a non fountain. Ah, this this looks this looks boring. Um. Okay, show me the specials. Okay. No. Okay, SpongeBob is expensive. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. I 
think game crash. <laughs> well, game. It's, it's not letting me to click anywhere. I, I, I. Nah, I'm not gonna purchase anything. The game crash. Game crash. You can. I mean, if you wanted to purchase a pack, I mean, I accept donations, I accept tips, subscriptions. You can even skip the skip the skip the messenger. Just give me all the money on your credit card, all, all the numbers on your credit card, the the, the, the the expiration date, the three numbers on the back. I'll handle it myself. I have no problem. I I I I, I I'll be the middleman in this transaction. A middle woman. <laughs> you got me a job resume as a clerk. No, thank you. I mean, if I wanted to work, I won't. I wouldn't be Twitch streaming. Actually, actually, uh, uh, oh, okay, okay, <laughs> I think I spoke too soon, you said government? Wish, government, government job? <laughs> that would be <laughs> like, really nice, at least over here. Once you get a government job over here, you are set. Uh, well, this is actually full crash, I, 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 I need to kill it. I need to kill it, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I need to kill you. I have killed it. Zimbabwe dollars. Eh, I don't need toilet paper though. Have you seen the pictures of people infl inflation about Zimbabwe money? That's crazy. I mean, I think that's one of the examples of hyperinflation for the books. It's absolutely madness. You can build a house out of, out of like five bucks there. Just use all the money of building materials. Okay, there we go. I wanna do. I wanna. I wanna do cloud. Uh, one to six. Okay. Yeah. Let let's 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 clean this. The Shindra power. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Sure. We're we're cleaning up. up. A motorcycle or something, but I, I want to clean the, the place with the sword. Your dollar there went from 75 to 83, but economic development is going great and stock market is nice. Cool! Yeah, I mean, it's always going... I guess... How... Okay, uh, wait, game audio is not working... Game audio, yeah, because or watch simulator about Okay, there we go. And I'm gonna lower. I think it's gonna be good this way. Well, happy to see that the uh, the market is going better in that place. Thank you. Yeah. So all this stuff is clean, but I need to clean because this looks like garbage. <laughs> I forgot the I forgot the I forgot the I forgot the the, the hotkeys. Do you want me to use only the pinpoint nozzle? This one? Are you new to Midgar? Okay. Yeah, I'm not to Midgar. I can do it. Sure, why not? Challenge accepted. Uh, the director of formal planning. I think that was like... Hey, I can spin it. I can spin a vertice. Somebody was talking to me. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care about people talking to me. Why? Why should I care about people talking to me? I, I... Wait, I am horizontal now. This is vertical. I was horizontal. See? See the crosshair? Yep. You were reading it backwards. I, I wish I could see actually the, the buttons. I forgot about the buttons on this game. 
now you get uh, the, the, the whole white noise of uh, hearing me power wash it thing. I think probably the game is a bit too too loud. I think it's gonna be bad that I don't want to destroy people's eardrums with the with the sound of my pressure washer. I think there was something where I could make my hands go weird. Okay, how do I see the controls? I want to see the controls. Controls, please. Um, forward. Ah, left control, shift, stream. Uh, use washer Y. I can toggle it. One extension. Okay, I guess. Yeah. Okay, I guess. Yeah, I mean, stance is when you can go. Wait, is that stance? Hey, you never know. It could be a fighting game. Aim mode was C. Yeah, stance, it's like uh, if you go chest to the ground or not. Uh, oh, this is what I was looking for. This mode is like, eh. Because you actually can aim without moving. I'm a functional person. Nyaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
it can also work, but it's it feels like it, I I think Warlock fits a bit better. I must say. But sorcerer can also work in that you are getting your your powers in a more non-standard way. Depends on depends on the spell list. Probably some a modification of that would work. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Wow, uh, has been like a very big influence in what a shaman is. Shamans in Wow actually feel really close to to Dungeons and Dragons clerics in that they have like the, the the combat abilities because the cleric in Dungeons and Dragons will bash your head in with a with a hammer, no? right? It's not like oh, I'm wearing a robe and I'm I, and I'm staying like all in the back, not in the front lines or whatever. No, Dungeons and Dragons cleric has like a, a chain mail, a flail, or a mace. Well, it, it, I think the the rule on Dungeons and Dragons was they couldn't use pointy stuff. Clerics in D&D, I don't know if they changed that, but usually it used to be that clerics in D&D couldn't do either piercing or blunt da or, or slashing damage, they could only do blunt. So they would use maces and stuff that wouldn't draw blood uh, in a traditional way, because I'm pretty sure that once they hit you in the head with a hammer, there is going to be a lot of blood happening. Ah, yeah, there is like a bunch of elemental... Uh, yeah, yeah, I totally get that. There was like this dependency between fantasy classes, uh, the, the fantasy realization of the shaman to use the elements. When its reality is more about like binding... Um, yeah, I, I think the, mo the core part should be more being in tune with a certain spirit or set of spirits or something like that. And it's always like that, that tribalistic kind of interpretation of, of it. The elemental part is kind of a, a World of Warcraft more exclusive thing, but I can see how it has influenced other depictions in other games and things like that. Mm -hmm. Spiritually and wisdom, totally agree. Okay, I could, yeah, I remember I could do tab. So... What's that? Just a tiny bit. Well, do tell. You have a. Is this a World of Warcraft shaman or? Okay, what's the setting? What's the setting for your shaman? Set the stage, Sindishi. Come on and set the stage for the story. In which world does your shaman live? Real story. But do you have like shamans on your basement? Do you have like proper shamans on your basement? How, how, how is it like real? No? Your dad has a, had a story. Ah, oh, okay. So this is like a, a proper shaman story about a, a real world shaman. Okay. Go ahead. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that thing is that thing is is dirty too. I thought I I only needed to do the, the bike, but I'm only doing the bike with the with the pinpoint thingy. The other thing gets clean properly, by the way. I'm I'm not gonna be here all day. I always remember to water your bike properly so it grows fruit. Absolutely. You should water your, your bike every day. Else it will rot and wilt away. Oh, look at all those things. Yeah. Watering my watering my bike nice and and smooth. You're weird. No you're not weird! There is no such thing as being weird. Here we are all weird, that means we are, that's how we are. 
Okay, so when your dad got a new home after he married your mom, some people who live right pretty close to their home wanted him to pay some money to the shaman, so he does an exorcism on his home. So they were claiming the house was haunted? Okay. Of course, they probably do this with every person who moves in, right? Why did they want money? The shaman claimed drinking alcohol will help him drive away uh, uh, spirits. But alcohol is usually spirits, right? Another word for certain kinds of booze is spirits. So if he's, he should do the opposite. He shouldn't be ingesting the spirits. He should be exercising. You give up already. No, no giving up. No giving up. Nobody can give up. I don't know why, uh, 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 in relation to what you are giving up, but no give up. Yeah, yeah. Come on, dude. Come on. Come on. Give me some money for booze so I can uh, uh, scare the ghosts away from your house. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Nah. How do I see what's... Um... Okay. Bike. Bike is almost done. Look how clean the bike is. Uh, wait. Where is it? Where is it? Okay, uh, here is the dirt. There we go. Unlimited water! This is special attack! So I guess I didn't pay anything to the shaman, right? I mean, I wouldn't have given them a dime. Come on. According to your mom, I told them the ghosts are stuck with me and uh, I am not stuck with them for further exorcisms. <laughs> Give me alcohol instead. Yeah, that's right. That's right. It's like I have a ghost army now. I will. Uh, do you want me to keep my ghost army on my house or send it to the town? Absolutely. Absolutely. I. Uh, that. Your dad was very smart there. If you have ghosts, why do, why would you get rid of them? You need them. You can use them to do stuff. I mean, maybe they're chilled, though. Like, everybody remembers Casper, the friendly ghost. Your mom did say creepy shit happened in the home. Ah. It's just like ghosts having a good time. It's Look, having ghosts is like having a cat. They're bound to knock some stuff around and maybe, I don't know, slash some furniture, but... They give the house personality. Makes it interesting. Yeah, it's fair. It's fair. As long as it wasn't like the, 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 the shaman dude trying to make it look like it was like haunted by going and messing with your stuff, that can be a problem when you get like people who are crazy enough. Like that 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 that, that, that can be like a big issue. But as long as that wasn't happening, you are, you, are, you are free to do whatever you want. You live in an apartment now, so not even the ghost who wants to clean the stairs. Fair. Fair. But at least it's good exercise. At least it's good exercise. Like, climb a, climb a, a flight of stairs every day, and it, it will make you... It, it will make your legs very toned. Okay, we have like, I think I can do this, and it shows me, yeah. So, what's the deal with that? Is it because... Ah, oh, come on. What do you want from me, game? Ah! I need to find the right angle. Is it... Yeah, that was something that was dirty. What does the ghost even find in your house? It's just me, your mom, and your dad, random house of hope. I mean, banana chips are tasty. I have this place uh, that exist, exists. I have this store near my, my house. Well, not, not super close. Close enough, I guess. And they sell like a, a bunch of nuts and things like that, and they have like they have the, the banana chips, and they are really really good. It's been a while since I since I got some. I should probably go and buy some. They are like a healthy, a healthy snack. Swinger. 
I got it. I got it. It's, it's here. Uh, what do you want from me? There we go. Yep. That's, that's fair. He did them a favor by not getting the alcohol. But yeah. Go to assert dominance and not give random cash to people because else they will make your life miserable asking for cash every five seconds for about random stuff. So we uh, we actually got this one. We got the bike. Yeah. Okay. The challenge is over. Now we use our, 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 our full power if I remember how to how to how to how to use it. Okay. I have Stubby Prime Vista Pro Short extension, long, medium yeah, Let's do it Let's do it this way And the nozzle What the hell? Wait Is it a store? Okay, power washers Heavy duty I, I own all of these, right? Professional duty, I own I own the Pro Um, is there something I can buy? How much cash do I have? I have 3,000. Uh, what's this? Triple tip no set. Okay. The shaman was just a random laborer who lost a lot of money playing cards and chicken fighting bets. I am not surprised. I am not surprised. We are buying this. And we probably are gonna be buying stuff. I'll get the short extension too. I mean, I can buy stuff. Unlimited power wash. Do we have everything here? Yeah, I do. Clean liquids, everything is out of stock. Clothing, ooh, we can buy clothing. Um, hmm. Yeah, I like those gauntlets. Oh, look, we can be festive. And they give us, they give that to us for free. Uh, do we have, yeah, 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 we are going Christmas. How, how do I customize my appearance? So, E. Okay, so my power washer is a Prima Vista Pro. Nice. And um, let's do the short one. The nozzle, we can do this one. We don't need clean liquid. Let's do... There we go, we are festive. I don't know how can I see myself. Uh, your dad at one point supervises the same guy's younger brother at work and that's how they know about the reality. Well, you look at that. A nice coincidence. Look at this. Look at this monster. No, we are cooking with uh, with gas. Actually, probably. How do I do this? 40, 25. Okay, so. This is uh, the 40 degree. Let's do this one. Nah. Let's do... The green one usually tends to be really good. Small war though, that you you were able to find the uh, somebody who worked with the dude. But yeah, some people will make their own hustles, you know? They, they will try to hustle people, make their, their own stuff to get a, a couple extra bucks. You just need to be careful not to give them an inch because if they know that you are you are easy cash, then they won't leave you alone. Especially if you are re recently moving into one place. Hi, Naruto! Welcome! Powerful Naruto as well. Yeah! Welcome, welcome! How are you doing today? Hope you're doing well. We are washing some stuff. 
Your family long moved away from that home, only your mom and dad and your sister live in the house. They moved uh, away pretty soon. Wasn't a, it, it wasn't such a great area then? Yeah! <laughs> the shaman was still there. Well, such a, such thing will happen, right? We, let's hope the shaman was able to get the, his life in order, was able to commune with the right spirits and, and, and properly fix his stuff. Because we shouldn't wish bad things to happen to people. Some people do it out of desperation or because they haven't found the right place in life. Some people are just assholes, so. It's just like I'm too nice sometimes. Ooh, better position and how to move. Nice, 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 nice. You are going upwards in life. That's always a great thing. Moving a lot. I never had to move, actually. Um, when I was living with my parents, we never moved. So we always lived in the same place until I went living on my own. But I like lived into. I only have like two major homes in my life, right? The, the, my parents. Um, this is without counting vacation homes and beach houses and and some places I stay for a couple for a month or or, or two, right? Places where I've lived for years, uh, for over a year, only my parents' house, and then and then where I live now. I, I I I think it probably was very challenging having to move often, right? Because you have to get adjusted to a new community and stuff, so it can be annoying. I know that for, for people who are young it's a problem because it's hard keeping in touch with your friends and you have to make friends all over again and things like that. Especially, well, nowadays it's easier to keep in touch because technology and stuff, but usually before it was like, hey, I'm never seeing these people again. Well, that's life. If you get a government job, you get a government home that's like a two-bedroom in India. Nice! I don't know how it is here, but the, the, I think the country is small enough that they don't, they don't... They don't give you anything, probably, but... Yeah, it makes sense because India is a very large place, and if, if they need you in a specific location, then they should take care that you are with a roof on your head and stuff like that, right? Your dad had to move out of his home at a young age because his village had no school that taught at higher guys. Mm, that's another challenge. Yeah, those are challenges that I don't know, they don't happen as often over here, I guess. Unless you reach a uh, tertiary university. When you reach like a university level, a lot of people have to like uh, move away, get like temporary housing near the universities and stuff because we are not that big that we have multiple universities of stuff so usually it's like well you have to go to the to the capital to the city and then live there during your education there are like scholarships and stuff to help people who who, need, who are in this position but yeah those persons will have to move there is no no easy way Power Wash Simulator. Yeah, I'm doing the Final Fantasy content. He moved away to his uncle when he was 12, as his village only had school until the sixth grade. Okay, so they didn't have even high school, yeah. Over here it's a bit better, uh, it's different. I'm not gonna say like better or worse, right? It's a different, it's matter of scale. We are like small enough that I think we have high school availability is a lot better, even in places that are not the city. But uh, university, yeah, it becomes a challenge. And people experience like, a lot of challenges in life that we sometimes are not used to, right? It's uh, it's fantastic and humbling how different different people uh, experiences can be. It was in the seventies in rural India. Yeah, with some luck, things are a bit better now, right? One would hope at least. Uh, what's this? Th this exhaust is kind of dirty. Uh, I'm gonna do the yellow one. 
I'm glad to hear that. It's good to hear that things are improving. Because as long as things are improving, it's good. We don't have to... We want things to be better than they were before. At least that, that's what we should all strive for improvement, for growing, for for making the world a better place. Literacy rate of the country is kind of eh, but better than before. Well, yeah. Especially with big places and when... W w if you are telling me that uh, having like education, enough places of uh, teaching and that can be a challenge, I can totally see that literacy can be a bit of a problem. But at least it's improving and that's that's great. It's good to see that the place where you live has a future. <laughs> 72%. Okay, okay. I think that's respectable. I don't know how much is over here. Let me let me go. Let me look. Literacy rate. We are in 98.77%. But we are like the leader on North on South America pretty much. So we are a very special situation. And again, that's the thing. Uruguay is really small, so it's very easy to... When you're looking in percentages, it's very easy to... For the country to have full coverage and stuff, because we are tiny. So it's like... Yeah, if your whole country is the size of a, of a block, of a city block, then it's, ha it's easy to say everyone in this city block uh, knows how to read and how to write. We were very good at football in the 50s. Pretty much, I guess. We won the f very first World Cup. Hey, they cannot take that away from us. Eventually, our players, like... Your, your state probably larger than Uruguay. Yeah. I, I wouldn't be surprised. We are tiny. We are absolutely tiny. So... This is why we have had like a lot of uh, good stats on things that, that they show good. I mean, they look good on the books, but when you think about them, it's, yeah, of course, it's easy. It's, it's still an accomplishment, right? But it's not that a, 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 as fantastic as people will have you believe. Your hometown population is uh, 650k. Yeah, on the city where I am, which is like, uh, we have like over, I think we have 2 million. Um, yeah, no, we have 1. Point, well, 1, 1.3 million in. But in 2017, I don't know if there is a. Yeah, 1.7 million on, on our city. It's our. our we call them departamentos, and they are like states, but smaller than a state. You have coal mines. Ooh. Not good for the environment, but good for the economy, I guess. Ah, you have trains. We used to have trains, then we lost them. Now we only have buses. <laughs> and a mall. Well, yeah, we have like a couple malls. What am I missing here? Uh, I think I can... Yeah. Oh, the headlights. Huh. A lot of places have that issue, right? Where malls become a bit abandoned and they are not usable anymore. Yeah, that can be a problem. Oh, I see something there. I'm gonna use the... There we go! Oh, I see something I need. The plate. You have all that's four floors? That's a lot of floors! Can you visit the whole stuff in a day? How many hours does it take to do like a complete round of the thing? Because it, it feels like it will be like a, 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 a ton of time. You can make a, a an outing of the visiting that place. Feels good. I like visiting malls. The thing about visiting malls is that you can do it only every so often because you, you 
once you saw all the stores and everything, unless you have something to do there, it's like, yeah, I remember what it, what there was here. I, I guess I'll have to check back in a couple months so it can be fun again. Hmm. So your mall can be a bit far away. That can be a challenge. You have to cross two bridges. Well, that doesn't say anything, right? I mean, maybe you have two rivers nearby. That's not an indication of distance without knowing the geography of the place. <laughs> the plate says Midgar. But yeah, I understand that it can be very far away. <laughs> Rear wheel mount. Is this? Is this? Do you take a bus or or a train? What's the public transportation look like when you have to go there? Or maybe it's one of the things where you have to drive. All the books in your country say that you have weird communist guerrilla group societies and poorness. A poverty. Okay. Yeah, for, for, for a moment I read that as poorness and I was like, okay. I guess I today I learned something about India, <laughs> but no, that that, that 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 makes more sense that they will put that on a on a book. I'm pretty sure that poorness is not a word even. Hey, my brain works in the, in, in weird ways. What you want me to do? Hey, I clean the wheel. And coal mines. <laughs> Don't ever forget about the coal mines. Or like we want to call them the cool mines. Yeah. We need to make mines hype for the youth again. So we can make them mine or precious materials. And coal, that is just factory fuel. If you want to make a power plant from the 80s, coal is very useful. Except if you want to keep your, the, the planet healthy, that's... Uh, we don't think about that. It's called mine, not called your. <laughs> the children yearn for the mice. Yeah, I, I'm guessing everyone, every small kid goes like, When I'm big, I want to work in the coal mines. I get to have a pickaxe. It's like Minecraft in real life. Yippee! <laughs> Just give the Jaman some boost on the... What if they do that re have magical power for real? What if the way the world is going is because your dad didn't give the Shaman like a, some vodka or something? What's the alcohol of choice in India? I'm curious. What's like the drink, the standard? Over here, like, uh, I would say that the, the standard drink will be beer. Rum? Oh, interesting, interesting. Huh, I wouldn't have guessed. I haven't... Nice, 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 nice. So it's the the regular thing that people would order on a bar. It's like a, a glass of rum or something. Nice. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah, over here it's mostly beer, some whiskey usually. And then you have like, um, and then the cheap stuff, uh, wine in a box, <laughs> when people just want to get drunk and don't want to spend a lot of money, because beer can be expensive, actually. But wine is a bit cheaper, and it gives you that boozy. The most popular rum here is kind of salt and spicy, and yes, even ha uh, well, yeah, a spice rum is a thing, it's known. It's a known thing, but spicy oats. Uh, that reminds me of Mexico. <laughs> I, um, my, 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 I had family that we used to visit Mexico a lot, and I think their, their, their spicy oats, the thing that was like, they were just like ob completely overloaded in that why is everything spicy for them was a uh, fruit salad. They had a fruit, uh, a portion of fruit salad, and it was spicy. And it was like, why? Why is the fruit salad spicy? Why? <laughs> <laughs> 
but yeah, spicy can be spicy everything. For a, for a lot of countries that have a lot of spicy culture, they can get wild. Especially, I don't know, over here we don't do a lot of spices, so it's like, eh. Culture shock, culture shock, culture shock. But I don't mind spices. I've been, like, drinking, drinking. I've been drinking a lot of hot sauces, like, just from the bottle. Okay, why? What's, what am I missing here? Because I've been, like, can I go lower? I feel like... Okay, real weird mount. This is a ma Shaved ice popsicles. Nice! Over here, shaved ice is not as big a thing. You can get it, but it's not culturally a big thing. We have like the, the standard popsicles, like it's like a block of ice with fruit. And then we do a lot of gelato, what's considered gelato. We do have so soft serve ice cream on places like McDonald's and Burger King, but usually more, finally, more places, mo most uh, ice cream places will be a standard gelato style. Wait, like chicken on its own or shaved ice chicken or chicken popsicle? This is very important to clarify right now because I could go for a chicken popsicle. I could certainly go for a chicken popsicle. Tasty chicken popsicle. What's the handle? Okay, this one. Chicken on its own. Okay, okay. There we go. Complete the job. There we go. Hey, you can see me clean. Then I switch my, clo my, my clothing. Nice. Oh, you can save the message, I guess? <laughs> we need to clean a scorpion sentinel. Why not? Biryani. I need to... Uh, I've been saying that I want to find... Uh, I've seen some India... Some places that do Indian food over here. Ooh. And I think I ordered some Indian food uh, a couple months ago. But I want to eat more. Especially because I'm looking for more spicy food. Six dollars for a biryani with a massive, with four massive pieces of chicken. That's actually not too expensive. Um, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's it's on par for what would be like a a, a a cheap meal over here. Like not the cheapest one, but it will be kind of cheap. Nice. Why is it moving? Are you gonna attack me? Hey, it's moving. Oh, that's so cute. Uh-huh. Okay. I'm gonna wash its crotch. Give free onion slices and gravy. Nice! So it's even better. I'm gonna do it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is give me the extra long. Maybe they give me the extra long with green and let's do this. Ah, oh, it's telling us that it won't shoot us. Shoot us. Yep. That's very economic. I want to clean the leggies. I'm always very disorganized on this game. Masala soda. Oh, that's some... I never heard of that. Sprite with some spices. Yeah, I should know more about that. That's a soda. I should try. I wonder if you can make your own. Can you make your own? Like, get the spices that... Um, Getting masala spices separate and just put them on Sprite because I could try that. Nice. And do you, do you just dump them uh, on the on the soda? Cool. I will try that. Need to get them. Ah, uh, okay. Well, they probably can Google them. 
There are a bunch of places that sell spices around, so I probably can get something similar at least, or make an absolute monster of the thing. Like, I, I, I ate Oreos with mayonnaise, I don't need to do things right. <laughs> Have to do a secret heist for it. <laughs> Have to steal the secret masala soda recipe from the... from the... the, the, the shaman. It's probably the same shaman. <laughs> The magic shaman of the soda. Okay. I think I can do this. Yeah. Yum. Look at this effectiveness. Oh, we got a new job. They are saying like these people are. Haha, <laughs> Tifa! Da -da -da -da. Hi, Leon! Splash, splash, you were taking a bath. Ooga booga. Ah, oh, thank you for your sub, Leon! I appreciate it. I hope you were enjoying your bath. We are giving the scorpion a, a bath here, too. And I should tell everyone we have an ad starting in 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Well, unless you're sub to the channel, like Leon, who doesn't get to see an ad, so he gets additional content like watching me no, no, talk about nothing, because I never know what to do while the ad is running. Ah, oh, Leon! Thank you so much! For the gifted so sub to Sindishi. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we have achieved our, our sub goal of 10 subs. Hey, I didn't know that. I didn't expect we were gonna make it. But we did it. We achieved one of our goals. So hype, everybody. Let's see those hypes in chat. Nobody's watching ads under my watch. <laughs> I hope the shaman blesses you. We were talking about the shaman. We were talking about shamans. But yeah, I really appreciate it. But yeah, how have you been? Did you enjoy your bath? Or was the bath just a mention in reference to me washing this scorpion's butt? <laughs> I just realized this is... Uh, I feel... I feel... Gener this is a generator. This is a field generator. It's not the scorpion's behold. <laughs> He has no banana. You sure about that? Because, I mean, maybe it's stored there. Is that a wheel or a cod piece? I guess we will never know. Is this TOS friendly? I think it should be, right? It should be. Do I need to censor the, 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 the thingy? Do I need to give uh, give a, a big sensor to the to, to the scorpion? Well, actually, they allowed artistic nudity for a day. They already rolled back on these changes. That's a funny story. So what happened was um, the goal ideally was that they wanted to allow arti artists to draw like nude scenes, especially for people who did uh, like anatomy and things like that, you know, where they cannot continue a drawing once it reaches the part where where it starts showing the 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 bits on the on the person. But they didn't explain the rules well enough and a lot of people took it to to do weird things yeah. <laughs> you're not familiar with the logistics of machinery Kuchi and I have to whitelist Kuchi on this channel thank you <laughs> oh, absolutely yeah me neither I am not a mechanic I don't even know if a mechanic will know about that we should probably ask Tony Stark or something about that but yeah the thing was kind of a mess. Um, I think the problem is that people started abusing and 
you still need to just draw straight out uh, porn on, on stream. And that causes a problem because Twitch doesn't have the ability to censor thumbnails. So if you went to the art category, even if it was the stream would tell you it's mature content before you wanted to enter, the thumbnail will still will show like full blown whatever was being drawn. And some people like started uh, putting like um, a, a AI generated porn on the art category and then some people started raving artists uh, hate raving hate reporting artists it became such a mess there was one VTuber that said I'm a drawing so I'm gonna go and stream naked and uh, it was just like um, Twitch went and said like you know what no no we're rolling back everything we don't want this anymore we are rolling back. Uh, yeah, even the CEO said it was a rush decision. Because they wanted to get people banned. They thought it was a good opportunity to get people banned and they saw they could do it and they were like, uh, they were being douchebags. Rollback like it's fight, game. I understood that reference, but yeah. Apparently Transformers have genitals and it's canonical in the series. This is going to be a risky search. Do Transformers have genitals? Well, according to Reddit, Transformers are actually biological beings. They don't have any form of genitalia. There are two ways for them to reproduce. Upon the, depends on the continuity. And there is a lot of fan fiction, apparently. Well, technically, Bumblebee in the movies was peeing, which involved, which, yeah. Okay, apparently it's a very disputed fact, so, yeah. Uh, probably, that's... Uh, there are some dark places in the internet. Siri, don't ask Siri that. Don't ask Siri that. Don't traumatize the, po the poor, uh, the poor phone assistant. She's already having a tough, a tough life. The equivalent of PP is called a spike, and the equivalent of a wee wee is called a valve. Don't quote me on that, though. I won't. No, absolutely no. I won't quote you on that. <laughs> he answered in the commenters. I would never call you on that, bro. <laughs> Look, you are sharing very important information with chat that needs to be preserved for posterity. It, 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 it's for science. It belongs in that comment belongs in a museum. Am I using the? Uh, mm, this looks like so nasty. Still, maybe I can do. Yeah. We can do this. Yeah, fan fiction is a weird word. <laughs> Thank you for the feeds, Leon. Give me that negatives. Oh no. Oh no. Gives us someone then gets done by Dirty Soda Company Executive. Ah, nobody's safe here. Nobody's safe here. Did you do it as a super chat? <laughs> oh, I, 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 now I need to take a screenshot of this. <laughs> it's right that now you can do it. <laughs> you can do super chats on Twitch. <laughs> Thank goodness I don't have like text to voice to speech here. <laughs> ah, but yeah, thank you for the bits. 
I'm sorry, just got a uh, bug at fighting a boxing batching game. A PP is called a spy. What did I miss something? Uh, we were talking about Transformer Genitalia and others. We were talking about gen Transformer Genitalia. Should I be giving alcohol to the shaman? See? This is this is your fault now. This world we live in, it's your fault. Should have given boost to the shaman. We were talking about Transformer Genitalia, and apparently in some continuities Transformer Genitalia is canon. And the world and we are all worse for knowing that information. But we need to, we cannot hide the sins of the past. This is why that comment is pinned. We cannot hide our sins, the sins of the past. We need to be better. We need to learn from the, the our mistakes. Also the shaman story. Uh, honestly, I am not surprised. I know that it can go like wild. Robot lovers, yeah. <laughs> Robot enjoyers. Robot enjoyers. How many Transformer entries are in fanfiction.net? Fanfiction. Is fanfiction net? What happens if I look for that transform autobus, <laughs> you know? <laughs> um, <laughs> so there are, if I look for transformers in fanfiction.net, I can find 17,686 entries. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. The word robot comes from the, from the sick word robota, which basically refers to unpaid, unforced labor. Ah, that that means transformers don't get paid. Well, probably transformers will be get really upset if you call them a robot. You can find the information in any vocabulary. Mm hmm. Nice. Don't know so about like that. Incredible. <laughs> the safety coach. Jesus. Jesus, you all need Jesus. That's what you all need. You all need. You know what? You need Jesus. I am not for religion, you know. I I I escape the Catholic Church and everything, but you know, you people need Jesus. <laughs> oh my God! Robots awaken weird things on people. I must say. A lot of things that shouldn't be awakened are awakened due to robots. And this is without going into the whole near thing. Did you ask whether Jesus whether he needs us or not? He probably doesn't. He probably doesn't. I mean, I, I, I think he probably is kind of salty about all the thing of getting impaled in a cross kind of deal. I don't think he's going to be very happy about that, you know? I don't think he's going to be very happy about that. In Hindi, robot is just called robot. Yeah, I think in Spanish too, robot. We pronounce it differently, but it's robot. Es un robot. Yeah. It's a word that I don't think it gets uh, translated a lot, right? Same with automata, I guess. Automata is automata. Bro, <laughs> hyping. <laughs> You have been banned from r slash Catholicism. <laughs> the world has survived it in many languages. Yeah, I guess people were using it as... F without reinterpreting it. I don't know. I guess it it's an interesting way... Ah, I was it. It's an interesting question, right? Why some words get translated or adapted in languages and some just keep getting used as they were without modification. There is probably like some study on why that happens. <laughs> if you go to Brazil, Jesus is indeed deposing up to this day. He's, he's, he's in a very famous over there. Very big statue. Very big statue. 
If a word rolls off the tongue with this, it's usually not translated, at least not entirely. But I see, it makes sense. It does make sense. I guess it's also a challenge once the language builds and the people in that region gets used to certain level and certain pronunciation. Some words that don't gel with that will get adapted, and some that do will get will retain their their original pronunciation. I guess. Nope, I do not. <laughs> I have all the free DLC for Power Wash, which is... I think it, most of the DLC for Power Wash were free. This one is free. Uh, SpongeBob and Back to the Future are paid. But the rest of the, of the, rest of the content was given for free. I think they could do this because uh, Square Enix is the publisher for Power Wash Simulator, so... They had access to the Final Fantasy IP without needing to pay anything extra. Ah, funds for DLC. Thank you so much, Leon. Thank you. I appreciate the BTs. <coughs> funds for DLC. I will, I will, I will wisely use that money to get more DLC for this game. I don't even know if it's expensive. Probably it's not. Powerwatch Simulator has done really well by their community, I guess. You have all the free one as well. Nice. Yeah, it's so cool that they gave us all the stuff for free. Oh, you only are you are only left to play the Christmas DLC. That's cool. I I spent so long since uh, without playing this game. I mean, I only play this game in stream. From time to time, there are good deals, especially if you buy games in a bundle. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, something I, I recommend people to do is like make, make, make use of your wish lists, at least the Steam one. I, I usually add stuff on the wish list because it will let you know if there is a, a good discount and it will send you a mail and it will pop a notification and stuff. And it's a good way to be to track uh, things that you might be interested in so you can know when stuff goes to sale. Yeah, keeping wish lists up to date is something I started doing because of that. And sometimes you get really good deals with bundles. Especially publisher bundles and stuff like that. Your favorite is Christmas like DLC is the Viscera cleanup detail one where Santa massacred himself and you have to clean up the workshop. Ah, oh, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. Visceral is such a... It's basically the precursor to this game, right? It's the, the first clean game that I remember releasing. I got... I don't have Visera per se, but when the game Shadow Warrior released, which is kind of a hilarious FPS, they did like a free thingy where if you have Shadow Warrior, you get... Um, a free version of DLC of the Viscera cleanup for the stages on Shadow Warrior. I think it's one stage or something like that, but yeah. You have a hundred hours of playtime in this one. Nice! It is a very amazing game, very relaxing, very cool to play for on stream and on your own when you just want to chill. Let me check how many hours do I have on Power Wash Steam. I have, whoa, you have a lot of hours. I have 56 hours. Only 56. But it's, it's such a great game. Such a great game. And it's a concept that you didn't know, you didn't feel like it would work, but eventually it ended, it ended, up, it ended up working really well. And I, I'm all happy for it. It's a great example that publisher, uh, publishers and developers should try new things. They should try supporting new things. You never know what's going to be a hit. This one was, uh, I think it one was a surprise in how, in paper, it sounds so weird, right? But in practice, it's so cool. And I still see it. It's one of my favorite stream games because we can be talking about any random thing while having this on the background. It becomes like good background noise. House Flipper. Ah, you know, Lulu was kind of interested in playing House Flipper recently because she's been watching uh, videos about... Uh, uh, a couple of YouTubers playing the sequel, House Flipper 2, released recently. 
and she has been interested in playing it. I don't know if she's gonna get it, but if she gets it, I would probably can steal it via family sharing. <laughs> or perhaps I should just buy her house flipper as a Christmas gift. I don't know. I'll see. <clears throat> It looks cool. That one also looks cool. The second part launched December 14th. I see. Nice. Can I use this one? That tail is so hard to clean though. You have played Unpacking and you highly recommend it. Unpacking? I, I've been meaning to play Unpacking. I need to add that one on my wish list. I always feel that the game feels a bit expensive on the expensive side for me. Uh, maybe because we are not getting good uh, regional pricing or something. But yeah, I, now that you remind me, I'm going to add it to my wish list. So I, 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 can be, I can be on the loop if there is any sale. That one sounded like a very chill game to play. Where it oh, oh okay, it has a, a soundtrack. Okay, yeah, I got it on my wish list. Yeah, I feel like it's kind of on the expensive side for what for 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 what I'm assuming it's only gonna be a, a, a it's not gonna be like a very long game. So I've been waiting for a sale on that one. I'm a patient gamer. <laughs> I will wait for sales. You uh, have 60 hours on House Flipper. That's a very chunky amount. Nice. Very nice. Looks like you enjoy that game quite a bit. And I'm seeing like a lot of people that play that game. Are you aware of the tele... I... I... The, the, the name doesn't necessarily... It doesn't ring a bell, but I might have heard it before. Yeah, I don't watch a lot of telenovelas, but that, that, that is a title, and um, I'm not going to say I disagree. I don't disagree with the title. Right now, part two is a little expensive for you. Yeah, I can totally understand that, Naruto. I can totally understand that. <clears throat> it's a good time sometimes to, when they release the second part, sometimes they put the first part on, on discount. I don't know if they did it for House Fellever, but... If you are a patient gamer, it could be a good moment. You were just recommended that by YouTube. What the hell are you watching? For your recommendations to be that, what the hell are you watching? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm asking right now. What? What? Why? How? Your 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 watch history must be wild. Ooh, Sleeping Dogs. Oh, Sleeping Dogs is a great game. You've been looking up the most outrageous telenovelas. Okay, that makes sense. You want to make a compilation. You're gonna make a telenovela compilation of the of weird telenovela scenes. Okay, I, I I mean by all means do let me know when drop me a link when you make it. <laughs> Sleeping Dogs is is, is is another game that looks like it's gonna be looks like it can be a cool play. It always go in very discount sales. Usually, I've seen it a lot of times on 90 something percent. I even don't know if I own the game. Maybe I own it. <laughs> but before playing Sleeping Dogs, I need to finish Yakuza, which is similar in a similar area. Okay. I wanna see if I can clean this. Oh no, each thing is separate! Each thing is separate! When you first were learning Spanish, the only telenovela playing on TV in your country that wasn't dubbed is the one you meant to know about. It's basically plastic, plastic surgery and drama. You know what? It makes sense. It makes sense. I can, I can see that. I can see that. I should like focus on something. Okay, I'm gonna focus on this, probably gonna use the... Hmm. 
I'm gonna do this. I used to watch a lot of telenovelas when I was little because we didn't have cable television. Um, living in Latin America, it's yeah, you, we get a lot of telenovelas, and the problem is that we had like a, a bit of cartoons, and once the cartoons were over, it's like just telenovelas, and there was nothing else to watch. So I will just watch them. Oh no, it was something. It was TV. It was TV. I didn't have something, anything else to do, so. I didn't have options. I didn't have options. It was what they could get. There we go. We got that. Come on. Well, yeah, there, there have been some really crazy telenovelas. Over here in Uruguay, we call them, we usually, novela, telenovela, or comedia. Which is kind of interesting, because comedia has, usually comedy has a different a different meaning, but over here we, we use that for, for telenovelas as well. So you need to know the context of the of of the person who is speaking to know what they're talking about because comedia could mean like a telenovela or could mean like a, a, theater, a theater or something like that or a play. Uh, I think I can get a I can get this, this a small stool stepping stool. Okay, that one is clean though. Okay, the, the one is clean. This scorpion is very hard to clean. Also, I'm, uh, I cannot focus usually. <laughs> it should be doing it piece by piece, but it's like, eh. I'll just go and spray water everywhere and hope it's clean by the end. This is how I clean my house, people. No, actually, no, I'm very focused when I clean my house. I divide the house in sections and I will do it in sections. I won't, I won't, I won't do it uh, that way on my own house. But I don't clean my house with a power washer. I wish I had a power washer to clean my house though. That would make it so easier. Look at this beauty, you know. Give me the tasty thing. Give me the tasty thing. Okay. Got a message. It's okay, we have a bit of stream time before I need to end for the for the day because Moompa is coming home. Power wash technology is expensive. I've seen yeah, it is. I've seen people power washing stuff on the street though. It was funny. And it, it is mesmerizing. It's not as clean as, as fast as this. Um, technically, what they say that this is not really power washing. Uh, they made like uh, a comment on the game. This is actually pressure washing. I think power washing involves like uh, something else. So this is called actually pressure washing. But and they even may mention to it on the on the game. It's like a a comment they do. I think it uses uh, hot water or something. Juan Carlos, con mi hermano, ¿por qué? <laughs> yep, you have just described like 88.9% of all telenovelas. And I'm being generous, I'm being generous here. Drama and cheese, yes. But for the next episode, right? This needs to happen at the end of one episode, so they can on the next episode you can start with that scene all over again and then you have the previews they have the previews at the end of the episode yeah it has to be a cliffhanger and then you have the preview what's gonna happen in the next episode in the next episode you have like on the previous episode this happened and then you have the apps and then you get like the resolution like once the 
the episode started like 40 minutes in. Stop doing noises. Uh, I'm probably gonna go with... Uh, the regular long usually is good enough for me. There we go. Let's do it like so. Your car ears just lift and her eye way and then she's seen a ghost. That that means she's seen a ghost. Or, or she's angry. But she probably saw a ghost there now. Well, we have a solution on this stream when you have a haunted house. You need to find a shaman, give them some booze, and they will exorcise your house. That's how it works. She heard me meowing. Did I meow? Okay, what? I, I, I didn't even realize I was meowing. How? Okay, my brain. Brain, why am I? Well, I guess I, I have a I have my inner neko. It was a sound. Ah, makes sense. Well, I have an inner neko, you know. This is why I have a neko mode for 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 meowing. Neko chan, neko chan. No, I don't know why. I I, I think of mentioning it like that with like Mashima does kitty. Wait, 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 wait. This is, this is, this is precious. Wait a second. Wait a second. Okay, okay, I need to show you all everything. This, this is... This is wonderful. <laughs> what? Give me a second, give me a second. Uh, yeah, this one. Knows what's up. <laughs> Swearing. Twitch knows what's up. <laughs> How dare you, Leon? How dare you? Automod, Automod has very strong opinions on who. <laughs> oh my goodness. How dare you? You know? How dare you say that? <laughs> I will post this everywhere. I'm gonna post this everywhere. That's that's that's, that's, that's hilarious. <laughs> that's hilarious. Make me famous. I was going to censor your name. If I if I post it, well uh, not on Discord but on Twitter and stuff, I, I I I'm not gonna like just name drop you. Imagine, do you want people to know that you just said ooh? -woo? That apparently is a very bad. What if I get you like Twitch banned because of that? What if like a Twitch admin looks at your name and they go like, this person say ooh? -woo. We are fucking banning them now. We are IP banning them, country banning them, the whole continent needs to be banned because they say that. We cannot allow people saying ooh -woo on the platform. You'll get cancelled on Twitter, very scared. No, you'll get cancelled on Twitch. They will ban your whole content on the platform because if there is something that Twitch won't allow on the platform is people saying oh well. Like a full blown cock on stream on a on a on a thumbnail, that can go. That that that's allowed. But oh don't you even say that. Remember to water your giant robot to have fresh teeth. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's better than the bike one. <laughs> the teeth part made it one. <laughs> you know what? Everybody needs to remember that now. You mean to say content, not continent, except if you think I'm as fat as your continent. You're 
not fat. I will never body shame people. I was gonna say that Twitch was gonna ban the entire continent where you live because you say doo woo and they, co they, they cannot risk it. Yes. <laughs> you are very hyped because I don't body shame people. You have very low expectatives of me. Like, it's like, yeah! No, I won't body shame people. Heck yeah! Like, uh, that should be the norm. <laughs> I think you people have very low expectatives of me. I, I, I'm a good person, you know? I'm a good person. Most of the time. Uh, I I do I, I do love the feature of pi pinning comments on Twitch chat. By the way, that's that's a thing that wasn't there when I stopped streaming before my hiatus, my before I left uh, for the mountains to train. And now I'm back. It's like yeah, I can use this. I love it. Maybe yellow. Hey, that worked. Do, do, do. Okay, yeah. Uh. Most of the time, not always. <laughs> Look, nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. Uh, sometimes I have mean days. I'm gonna say that. I'm a person that sometimes I do have days where I'm meaner than others. I try not to. I don't like being mean, but sometimes I'm days where I'm propensed to be mean and I'm like, you know what? I need to take a step back on those days, but yeah, sometimes I, uh, it will squeeze. It will like, it will escape some meaniness. You got a reason to bonk. Sometimes you will have a valid reason to bonk, yes. But I have removed the bonks. <laughs> you can only bonk in spirit, <laughs> not with a real hammer. <laughs> Because Moompa made me. Oh no! You have emotes. That actually works. Ah, and we bonk. <laughs> Sometimes I will give you a legit. I, I will give you all a legitimate reason to be bonk me. <laughs> Do I need to create a? Okay, I'll create a chat command for bonks that probably can keep count of it. Because I'm a people pleaser, you know? I'm a people pleaser. I'm a people pleaser. Yes. Okay, I'll do it, I'll do it. Bleh. People pleaser. That, that works too. How to create con command. Come on, night world. You know I'm doing it now, right? You want the one comment? I'm, I'm coding it now. No, 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 not stuff for the next stream or anything. Like you, you, you get, you, you, you get to watch me do it now. Uh, I don't want to watch a video. I probably should be able to just do it. Like, please, come on. I don't need to watch a video to how to add a comment. Uh, okay. Uh, so I can do like custom command, add a command, the command is going to be bonk, use a level everyone, you can do it, I, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll leave it on 5 seconds, because mo multiple people might want to do it, um, um, uh, okay, uh, Bonk, okay, bonk. Uh, let me check this. Uh, okay, see what I said. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do this. I can do it. I don't care. Submit. Okay, let's give it a test. Somebody bunk me. Let's give it a test. Somebody try bunking me now. I won't bug myself. And I know you're being nice. Uh, there we go. Thank you, Naruto. So, and it should be... It should keep it should keep track of the, the, the amount of times you bunk me. So nice, nice, nice. I think it's like a lifetime, so You can play to see how big you can make that number go. <laughs> also it was that, that that was not a bunk now, but still, thank you. I don't know why I'm thanking you for yeeting me. Why should I thank people for yeeting me? I should yeet you all. But I, I, I don't have a persistent chat that I can yeet. You are clouds on my screen. Clouds of happiness. That are for a couple, just for a couple seconds. But you want that Nox Bonk Nox, what? <laughs> I'm not gonna bonk myself. Nox Bonk Nox. Probably can add a bonk emote at some point. I'll add it. I'll, I'll ask Moompa. Whoa, you eating your chat. Hold there. Well, I, I I would if I could, but I cannot. So you're safe now. You know, you're safe. I cannot eat you. Count your blessings, because someday I will find a way. Yeah, spread the love. This is a very lo lovesome community. <laughs> I, my, 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 uh, this is working. This is like a Final Fantasy ability. <laughs> you can see all the watermarks. Love it. Want a Nox Bonk Nox? What is a Nox Bonk Nox? What is Nox Bonk Nox? Do, do you want me... Do you want me to bonk myself? To just do the command myself? I'm not gonna bonk myself. You bonk me. Or, or, or better, do not bonk me. No, he bonk me. I haven't... Only bonk me when I do bonkable things. You know what? You know what? Fine. I will bonk myself. I will bonk myself. I will bonk myself. Just because I, 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 I'm, I, I'm a people pleaser and I went easily to peer pressure. Just because of that. <laughs> I fine. Happy? Are you happy now? I bonk myself. Perfect. <laughs> I'm glad you are happy. I am glad you are happy, Naruto. I'm very glad. <laughs> mm, look at how clean this thing is going. This game needs a shed pack, though. I want a shed pack. Okay, I don't see anything. Well, I see stuff with Tab out, out there. Da, 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 da. What is that emote? <laughs> oh my god, that's a great emote actually. <laughs> well, on this side I see some grime on that cannon. See, it's all like uh, now it's that. Well, this area is kind of dirty. I've been favoring like a, a, a single area, I guess. 
Let's clean that area now. And I'm crazy, but you like it, bonka bonka. You like it, ain't it? This is bonka bonka and crazy, but you like it, bonka bonka crazy, but you like it, bonk. I don't know this the tune, so I made my own, by the way. But I was remember the I was remember the of the one that says like I like a move it, move it. I like a bonk it, bonk it. I like a bonk it, bonk it. Do you like a bonk it? I like a bonk it, bonk it. Ah, Shakira. I'm very bad. <laughs> I'm very bad at music. I'm very bad at music. But that's what makes me wonderful. If I was good at music, I wouldn't sing as much. Because I cannot... I, I, I couldn't stand the pressure. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm saying. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna get copyright strike because I'm humming Shakira on stream. Well, I don't publish bots, I don't care. Well, I do publish bots? No, I don't save them to YouTube anymore. Who cares? My content is ephemeral. You need to be there to understand all the jokes. Or watch clips, I don't know. <laughs> Opa, we are getting a lot of uh, clingies, bingies. This was a, a good angle to clean. Okay, let's see from behind, let me move, let me move this out of the way, out of the way, please, out of the way, please, thank you. Forgive me while I scream. <laughs> you are forgiven, this is a, a screen safe zone. This is a screen safe zone. Everybody feel free to scream to your heart's content when you feel like it. I I, I don't scream shot sh screen shame. Okay, who was this one called Leon? The the, the spike or the the gear, the ratchet? <laughs> the exhaust, I guess? Well, technically it's a field generator, but... <laughs> and yes, now you are my expert in Robot Genitalia. <laughs> Whenever I'm having a problem... You know what a pawn stars? Surprisingly, you don't scream at all. You, pre uh, you prefer physical exercise to bend. Yeah, I get that. I get that. I don't... Spike and valve. Thank you! So, I guess this is a valve. And yeah, you know when in Pound Stars they ask, I, 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 have a, I have an expert to check this. <laughs> Whenever I need an expert in Robot Genitalia, I will, I will call you. <laughs> you are now my, my, my guy. You know, you, have, you need to have a, a guy for everything they say. Like, you are my Robot Genitalia guy. <laughs> oh. But yeah, me... Uh, Honestly, for me to scream out loud, it was when I was dealing with the worst side of my anxiety. Um, and I, I, I had to be feeling like really bad. I usually like bent in doing something active, which is what I do now. Like if I'm feeling too upset, I will go for a walk or for a run or something like that. So I completely understand that. Well, this area is filthy. So I'm gonna... No, I'm gonna do the regular long and this one. <laughs> there we go. We got the gripper. The gripper gripper done. Screaming in a pillow can only relieve, relieve someone in a limited metal. Yeah, they actually say you shouldn't do that. They they actually like they they are very um, very adamant. Uh, all like mental health people. The two things you shouldn't do is 
screaming in a pillow. Everything that involves a pillow in general, like all the coping mechanisms that involve a pillow, people will say that don't do them. Uh, screaming is really bad, and hitting a pillow is also bad. You like that thing that some people say. Um, you know, there are some attractions where you can go into a room and just break everything to relieve stress. They say, like you enter, a, uh, they rent you a room with a lot of breakable stuff, and you can sometimes they give you a bat or something and you can just wreck the place up uh, any uh, all that kind of stuff is actually really really bad for your mental health you shouldn't uh, associate um, you shouldn't associate uh, relief with doing negative activities like screaming or hitting things you always recommend therapy physical exercise and stuff like that yeah absolutely absolutely you should um, you should be coming back to your happy it's like what they say go to a happy place right you should calm down by doing an activity that you enjoy and it makes you happy because that way you build that link between uh, receiving good mental health and doing things you enjoy else you are like creating the completely wrong neural pathway right you are associating uh, your the thing that calms you down is something that's really bad. I mean, it's really awful. This is why I was one of the things that I was like extremely conscious when I was at the worst. When I was at the worst of my mental health, even at that point, something I was extremely conscious. And this is something I, I know that I've done like, in all my mental health journey, I've done it like two or three times, which is uh, drinking to calm down. I was always like extremely, extremely aware of that. Yeah, you should never like associate drinking to to calm down because that's how you develop like a problem. So I think in in in, in all my worst in, in in the worst of my mental health, even at, the, at that point, I I was always like very aware, and I must have done it like in total two three times tops uh, when I was like uh, at my very worst. To, to, to get out of a very bad mind state or or to deal with what's like essentially a very bad anxiety attack. But even at that point, it was like, yeah, I shouldn't be doing that. This is like very bad. And yeah, you need health, healthy coping mechanisms and healthy ways to treat with the challenges. You haven't drunk alcohol since 2019 and never was a drinker to begin with. But yeah, you have those moments where you're doing protest stuff with cope with reality. Yeah, I mean, at some point it's like, Especially when I was untreated, right? Once I started treatment, yeah, that was not a problem. But when you are untreated and you are trying to find stuff that works for you, you know? I can do that? What the fuck? I didn't know I could do that. I can make it move with the, the arm? I don't know if it had been easier or not, but... Huh! Will you look at that? Today I'll learn. Uh, but yeah, um, going back to the, to, to the serious talk, it's like... I think it's especially when we are all like dealing with stuff on our own and trying to find what works for us. It's when we we can end up building bad coping mechanisms and things like that. Uh, and alcohol is like one of the worst. Violence, screaming, anything that's negative, right? We need positive coping mechanisms to make sure we don't do we don't get a worse because the goal is always improving not feeling not it's long term versus short term because yeah you can get out of the situation in the short term by doing something that's like really bad but then long term it's gonna be a problem because sometimes it's you start needing more that's what happens with unhealthy coping mechanisms that it's like you're covering the situation you are not solving it so it's not a problem that yelling just a bit is not enough you need to yell more you need to hit more stuff and and then when you there are other people around you right it's like if your cocky p mechanism is hitting something it, it might lead you to a path where you don't want to so 
I always been very conscious of keeping healthy coping mechanisms and stuff, but yeah. Especially once I got like proper help and everything, one of the first things we did was develop like good ways to cope with anxiety. Also, recognize when you are going, when you are in a bad place before it reaches a crisis point, and um, start doing uh, your whatever you do to to stabilize yourself early rather than later when it's gonna be le less effective. Uh, for me, I do a lot of breathing exercises and stuff. I, t I meditate. Um, honestly, I should be meditating every single day, even if there is nothing wrong, but sometimes I skip a day or two. But I like meditating. I like sitting around, hearing, just closing my eyes, concentrating on my breathing, and just focusing on the, on the, on the world around me. It's, it's a very calming experience, and it helps. It's a routine that helps keeping me centered, keeping me in balance, and healthy. Because whoever so, uh, says that mental health is easy, is lying. Mental, keeping, uh, it's like, it's not hard, it's not easy. It's like with uh, physical hard, uh, health too, right? I mean, you can keep fit. It's not super hard to remain fit, but it's not easy. You, you need to put some effort. You need to put some effort. There is, there is some effort involved into anything that involves your health. Both mental and physical. Uh, can I raise it? Yeah, I can raise his arm as well. Interesting. Let me try cleaning this from the top. <clears throat> In general, I'm not drinking a lot too. I, I usually drink on weekends and like if I'm visiting people or something, like if there is some uh, motive, right? But I also been a bit into cocktail making and stuff, but I, I, I like uh, doing non-alcoholic cocktails. I like finding replacements for alcoholic drinks and stuff I make so I can make the version without alcohol so I don't feel like I'm consuming more alcohol than what I what I should be consuming. I think I need the extra long here. Yeah, let me go extra long. Oh. I should use this mode more often. Oh, look at that! Look at all those things! Yeah, I, 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 I haven't cleaned this side at all, right? It's like... Oh, uh, yep. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I'm gonna assume I didn't pay enough attention to the front. Look at those, all those things. Will you look at that? Maybe if I do... I'm gonna try this one too. I probably need to get behind the head. Look at how clean and nice it is. How much stuff are we f f missing? Hmm. Let me see, like, we have a bunch of things that... They just needed a, a tiny bit, they are on their, their last percentages. 
Maybe I can switch the side a bit. Okay. I think the, the tail is pretty much clean at this point. Oh. If I stand here... Well, the sun is out. That means that temperature is going to rise again. What are we, what are we gonna do? Somebody wants to connect with me in LinkedIn. They want to recruit me to the mines. I I, I fell down. Uh, how? What's the closest I can put this here? Because I want to get on top of the robot at this point. I'm gonna give it a good, a good clean up from the side. And am I am I am I'm, I'm in a good position? Wee! Yeah, see, I knew that uh, we 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 were gonna be having a problem here. The back of the head. It's like when you wash your hair, right? You need to be mindful of the back of your head. Behind the ears. Stuff like that. Let me do it short. Remember to wash behind your ears when you shower. We're basically giving a shower to the to the, to, 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 to this robot. Okay. Well, I see stuff to clean. Mumpa is here. Say hi, Mumpa. Hi. Mumpa said hi. Are we gonna have lunch, Mumpa? Do you buy? Do you buy? Okay. So we need to have lunch. And let me snooze this. Let me snooze this. And this, I, I love that button that Twitch added that it's like you cannot be raided for an hour because it's like when I'm getting ready to end stream, I know that I won't be like surprised raided and it's like, oh no, ah, mana. I, I was yeeted. Let me see how, how, how much do I need. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna give uh, the the good school try to this. The good college try, I think it's the. Uh... Maybe if I put this in prolong, I'm gonna give it a couple minutes because I might be able to to complete it. This is a robot from Final Fantasy VII. It's a collaboration. I'm explaining to Mumpa. It's uh, the f one of the first bosses of Final Fantasy VII. Because the game is on in collaboration with Square Enix. So, well, Square Enix is a publisher for this game, so they have like uh, access to the to the IP, and they added like a bunch of uh, Final Fantasy related stuff. Okay, can I?
I'm gonna switch this to... No, 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 short. Usually you can do this short. Oh! I have glasses. And they are very bouncy because they are attached to my... <laughs> to my banks. Ah, oh, thank you for the headpad. <clears throat> they are attached to my banks, so... They bounce a lot. Okay. Oh, oh, how do I stand? Okay. It should be almost done. Hmm? I'm gonna change this to... Oh, this is dirty. They will let you use soap. One day you will redeem that jet. It sure beats the boss. <laughs> one day. Just one day. When that happens, nobody knows what will happen when that redeem is, is used. But yeah, you need to save your points. Or use them. I'm not your mom. You can do whatever you want. this okay but I think uh, hold, 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 hold. Mm. yeah we are at the point where it takes a while to get all the nooks and crannies <laughs> Mumpa helpfully told me that where was this one Nox, what blue sky? I am on Nox Nile at blue sky. Let me let me give you the link. <clears throat> I am on blue sky. Oh, what's blue sky? Oh, um, it's this. It's like a Twitter competitor. Uh, if you want an invite, let me know. I can DM you one on Discord. It's like, a, yeah, it's like a close uh, Twitter competitor. Honestly, it doesn't see much movement. <clears throat> it usually sees movement on... I I, I don't know. I, I'm bad at social media, so I don't see movement anywhere. But I don't I don't think it's doing very well because it's, it's locked behind being in bed invited on it, you know? So it doesn't have a critical mass of people. Threads went to hell. All the people that has le enough people left Twitter. Ah, you're looking at my car now. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. Mm -hmm. uh, enough people left Threads that the Threads now has Twitter culture on it. And it's kind of a bit of a hell site again. It's becoming a hell site like Twitter did, so. That's a shame. That's an absolute shame. Fear Mastodon after what hypes, no threats, yeah. I, I do believe that Reps is the only one that has like a chance to compete against Twitter, you know? But I don't know if it's that's a good thing, you know, because it, it will probably be the same kind of garbo we've been experiencing nowadays. Thread has a suck behind. That's a problem. Yeah, it's a suck. Try has Mark Zuckerberg on it, and that tends to be a very bad thing. But I think it's the only one that can fit, uh, can fight the muskrat. So you know how it is. You know how it is. It's like it's the the the, the evil you know versus the other evil that you know, but it apparently is a bit less uh, less evil than the first one. I don't know. It's a mess. But yeah, with that said, people, it is time. It is time. The mask versus the sock. Absolutely. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Yeah. I'm gonna finish the, the thingy later. In the end, whoever we, we... Yeah, we're all the product, you know? It's like they say. We are the product both for Twitter and both for, for Threads. And whoever wins, we lose. We just have to survive on whichever platform we can as much as we can and get as much benefit as we can and jump ship when possible. But 
Yeah, it's it's just a mess. We don't we are not winning this one. We are absolutely not winning this one. It's we do what we can and yeah. It's a shame. It is a shame a bit. Uh, social media everyone, social media. But yeah. I'm gonna go have some lunch now. I'll be back on Thursday at 8 a.m. EST until whatever. <laughs> I should have ended the stream like an hour ago, but it's fine. I'm having fun. You're having fun. Everybody's having fun. So, yeah. Catch you all on the next one. I hope everybody has a good day. I'm not going to be raiding right now because nobody I know is on and I need to go straight for lunch. So, and I like to stay uh, when I raid people I don't know at least to talk to them a bit. So, yeah. No, that's not the, that's going to happen. So yeah, thank you Leon, thank you Nathar, Sindishi, and everybody, Naruto, Fox, and everybody else who was around, Nami, Peeps, everybody, and I hope you stay fizzy, you stay awesome, I'll see you all on the next one, which is gonna be next Thursday, so bye bye, have a good one, love you all, kisses, bye, look at my head, ah.